Ahoy, wonders, <gasps> and welcome back to the table. Welcome. For those on the live stream, it's going to be a little choppy here, but don't worry. On the YouTube audience, we got this recording. It uh, should be primo, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and... We're, we're working on our issues. We have ISP problems, and we're looking between our current one and their competitors to see what can happen. Uh, not a fan of Spectrum at the moment, so we'll see what happens. Huh. We'll see. Uh, so at this point, just consider this a uh, podcast sort of thing. Podcast, <laughs> so, for those that are turning in live anyway. Yeah, for the, for the live one anyway. So to mitigate this, I would say the worst case scenario for us would have to be we have to call out what no our numbers are. Yeah, that's no problem. Yep. I mean, I feel like we, we do kind that of anyway. We, we anyway. do do that, but we Mostly just have because to be... we don't have a dice cam. Yeah. Mm. Well, also, to be fair, like, just, like, if people tell me, like, soft whatever, then, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, hey, just to be that little itty-bitty bit more professional, you know? Mm-hmm. It's fine. Shit happens. Uh, okay, so last we left our heroes. Uh, you currently were heading over to Avast. You decided to stick towards Eel's Gape when it came to uh, going up the side because you heard that the demon incursion has kind of found its way going down uh, Gulliver. Yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and with that, you decided, hey, we'll just go ahead and cross on this side. Surely the demon incursion hasn't come this far. Uh, you did not find a demon incursion, but rather you found some really weird, uh, some really weird artifacts underneath the water. Some, uh, that Morgan found out was, uh, and unbeknownst to him, if he wasn't sure if he just did some kind of weird fucking mind meld thing and just completely killed a man by accident instead of actually changing his fate properly. <laughs> we'll just let that simmer in on him real quick. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you come back from it, the goblin's sitting there drinking tea. Stop. <laughs> In this universe, you completely... Morgan, why are you touching that child? <laughs> huh. So, uh, Morgan discovered that apparently there's some kind of weird science experiment going on where they're testing vehicles that fly in the air. And, uh, unfortunately, that fell completely out of the... Well, it got shot down out of the sky by themselves and landed in the water. And you found the remnants of this technology. Uh, but while doing so... You decided to uh, go back to your ship and found that you are being sabotaged by a couple of blue scale kobolds, which Wake captured one, and that's where we left off while the ship is kind of sinking slowly because they drilled holes in the bottom of it. Which, by the way, was a tactic that I had had we ever come to ship to ship combat. Yeah. I had a portable drill in my inventory for just, just always such a ready. situation. Uh, so, you know what? Glad that tactic came into play. Just sad it wasn't me that did it. Uh, <laughs> well, no one actually checked what the hole looks like, so you don't know if they actually used a drill or did whatever. <laughs> I'm just stating, you know, sabotaging a ship from underwater, I was ready for that bullshit. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm swimming back like at full rocket speed. Whoever's on the ship has to deal with what's going on there first. Yeah, I feel, okay. I feel so, like I was definitely trying to investigate the, the bottom of the ship initially, mm -hmm. which... It, like there was something inflating that was like knocking it on its side or something, which I remember. We oh got no, rid that of. was uh, when you went down into the water. There was a giant uh, metal right. slab that, from the middle of it, it had a dead dragonborn inside of it, and it had the parachute that was on the goblin that body that you found before. Okay, Initially, and I that parachute. It was a parachute, but then it turned out to be like a life preserver, almost sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I meant, I said parachute. Listen to me. I mean, it's yeah, probably right. both. Like an airbag. Yeah, it's it's basically an airbag to jettison you back up to the surface if you were to fall in the water, which looked like was the case. It just didn't go off, but you guys set that off, and now it's kind of tilting the ship, but that's also tilting it on the side where the hole is on the water, mm -hmm. uh, in the ship. Yeah. Um, but either way, I would be, uh, investigating the, <laughs> the bottom of the ship and this inflatable device and just trying to, to jab at it with, uh, with just one of my crossbow bolts, just stabbing it in there. I believe we did that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought we did. I wasn't, wasn't sure if I planned that and left. That, or, that was okay. resolved. The yeah, ship you, tilted you, back, okay. but it's still sinking because there's a hole in the bottom. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I would be making my way back topside then. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Wake, you reach the surface. I need you to roll me another uh, uh, strength check to keep this guy in your hand. He's very squirmy. Well, he's gonna he's gonna keep being squirmy. Athletics, you says. Yep. Uh, that is a soft twenty. All right. Remember, they do get at, well. Even with this roll, they weren't gonna get it because I rolled pretty low. But because of one of their abilities, they actually get advantage to getting out of grapples. Well, too but, bad for him. Nope, he didn't do it. Not at all with these rolls. 
Uh, you still got him attached. Uh, you got your arm, like, around his mouth. He's trying to, like, gnaw down your arm. You're just like, stop it, stop it. Nope, nope. You can't bite a ghost. <laughs> no, you, oh, you're using that arm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> whichever one, whichever one works best. I don't need my, le I don't need my arms to swim. Fair enough. Well, the way I kind of fluffed it is that your key arm acts as an actual arm, but it's just not there visibly. All right, that one's wrapped around his neck. The other one's just kind of clutching his snout. Yeah, so shot. now he, he's got like this invisible force holding his mouth agape, and he's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> so you reach the surface. Hey, I uh, got a thing. Somebody throw down a rope. <laughs> oh, hey, Wake. Oh, hey, Chromagill. <laughs> <laughs> What you got there? Saboteur. Ooh. <laughs> Rope! <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so Baltara pretty much just like gets over the side with the help of Morgan. You guys throw down a rope. Uh, athletics to climb back up. All right. For you, Wake, obviously, because you're, you're pretty preoccupied at this point. Yeah, uh, that is a 17. 17? Wow, shitty fucking rolls. He still can't get out. So you climb up with no incident. Yeah, he's just very confused. I'm holding him off to the side with my ghost arm by his neck. Ah! Ah! <laughs> just like floating. That's horrifying. Yes. Uh, <laughs> my athletics up there was a modified 20. You're fine. Okay. Figured as much. Yeah, you guys climb back up. You are now on top of the ship. The ship is still kind of lopsiding a little off to the side on the left now. They were definitely escaping through the bottom, so there's likely a hole beneath us. We should definitely be checking that if we haven't already. All right. <laughs> he agrees? <laughs> Probably. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, Voltara, Micha. They're right there next to you. Hi. Yes. yes. Would you mind uh, looking after our <clears throat> little saboteur here? I want to make sure he doesn't get away. It's kind of uh, like toss him on the ground. Oh, in front of oh hold him still then as Misha just kind of just like pulls out her doctor bag. All right. <laughs> she pulls out a comically huge syringe. You didn't kill him, did you? No, he's asleep. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to go fix what's happening. I head below deck. <laughs> <laughs> like he hits the floor family guy pose and you just see him flop. <laughs> His leg kicks. He's having a little kobold dream. Yep. <laughs> He thinks he's running. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, so you head down. Uh, you swim over to the side where you feel the ship is kind of sinking. Uh, there's not just one hole. There's, like, multiple holes, and it looks like they were bashed in from the side. Uh, <sighs> it looks like there's at least three holes. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Oh, boy. Wake, the smart boy. Ten. Ten? You have no idea how they could possibly have broken it from the outside, but it looks like it's some kind of blunt force trauma. Oh, they're strong little guys. <clears throat> Which well, makes almost no sense considering the frame of kobolds. And how easy it was to kidnap that one. Yep. Well, I guess we'll figure that out later. For now, we gotta patch these up. Uh, Survival well, checks with uh, proper tools. You, The problem is, is that with you going up back and forth, uh, the ship will still kind of like retain a lot of water after a certain amount of time. Yeah, these holes, they are not big enough for me to get through, right? No, they are big enough for a small creature to fit through. Okay, and I am not small. Survival check, uh, that is a 19. 19? Yeah, you patched the first hole with no issue. Uh, you, you, you did a kind of a rough job, but for someone on the inside, Valtar is kind of like, well, if that's the case, then we should probably do something about the water that's underneath. Probably. Yep. Morgan's going to. How could you hear that? You're underwater. <laughs> I said in an aquan. <laughs> also, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work as a giant voice. telepathic walkie-talkie to all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just say so you just they like, put their hand up to Chromagill's temple. Ten four, good buddy. I'm over here. Over. <laughs> Hold on. Chromagill just kind of relays it. Whatever he hears is. <laughs> All right, so I only uh, hear it in Chromagill voice. Voltara says something about the water that's in the ship. I don't know. So for you guys, uh, you have a couple of buckets offside because in case, God forbid, a ship needs some materials to keep it somewhat uh, up on the water. Mm -hmm. uh, the entire bottom of the ship is probably up to Morgan's knees in water uh, on the very, very bottom floor. This seems bad. Uh, how yep. will you guys get the water out of here while Wake is taking care of the patches? Uh, we, 
Old fashioned way, bail it with a bucket. I was gonna say, Chroma Gill grabs, grabs a nearby bucket and just starts filling it up and taking it out. See you these time, baby. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys roll me survivals as well. 16. A 19 plus one, soft 20. Morgan's so fucking used to doing this. He's he's champing this, just running upstairs, finding Unnatural finding sailor. portholes on the side to just to get the water to bail out as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Chromagill is kind of like wandering up the entire way, thinking it has to go over the ship. He's not. He doesn't know any of this. Mm. But then you relay that information to him. Hey, maybe it might be faster if you throw it out the window. Oh, you yep. know, I guess I didn't think about it. I thought those were just more holes we were gonna have to patch. Volta- good, good point, Voltara. I'm gonna roll for her real quick. I'm gonna roll a knowledge check for her. Fuck, she got a brain blast with a natural 20. She finds three buckets and ties them in a rope enough that it makes a sort of triangle and she puts it nestled on top of where her horns are. Oh! So she's carrying more than what there should be. So that gives you a lot more ease to actually fix up. Roll me another survival check. All right. 18. 18? Yeah, second hole's patched. <clears throat> All right, a few more to go. All right, Whoosh. you guys, another survival check on your front. Yep. It's a 17 that time. 17. Less good. Nine. Nine. Unfortunately, Chromagill kicks open the third uh, hole a little bit more, stepping down on it. Oh, my, my mistake. May need a little bit more maintenance over here. Wake rolls his eyes. <laughs> yeah, so now so now you're about to patch up the third hole, but now there's And a, a one and a two and fuck <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a chunky mushroom man leg kind of like trying to float out of the water, but it's stuck in there. Winnie the Pooh style, do you draw a face <laughs> on it? I'm not sure what a bull or a china shop is, but I feel like that. <laughs> I don't know if I have the uh, the ability to draw underwater. <laughs> that was more a Winnie the Pooh joke. Oh, I get that, means. but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Pretty sure that's My, why Aquan isn't a written language. Man, Tumbly is rather man, is, rumbly. Does that make you rabbit? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know who any of us are. I'm Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very no, happy. That's, that's Morgan. <laughs> Chroma the Gill. Yeah. No, that's more. I'm sorry, man. I hate to single you out like that, but that's Morgan. If anything, no, you're kind of the fan. Right. You're, you're kind of the fan favorite, so you'd be like, you know, you'd be Tigger. Okay. Yeah. And I'm the only one. Although I frequently talk about my circle, and they, um, you know, yes. No, that's fair. Because, <laughs> uh, because Tigger talks about his kind all the time, but you never see any other like him. Yeah. Now we're getting into we're de- welcome to D and D where we debate about uh, Sheldon the, is owl. The logi- <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the logistics of Winnie the Pooh and how stuffed animals kind of see themselves in the cosmology of the universe. Buzzfeed.com, which Winnie the Pooh character are you? Mm. Fuck. Nah, I help Chromagill get his leg back out of the ship. <laughs> oh, Athletic, thank you. Athletics or acrobatics of your choice. Uh, athletics makes a bit more sense for shoving a foot into a ship, so I'm going with 18. You just take a piece of kelp and just start tickling his foot. As he starts jiggling it, you punch it up. <laughs> oh, that's I'm much better. Thank you. Self a little bit. Survival check. Might be a little bit harder because the hole is bigger now. Oh, luckily, that's my best roll so far. 24. 24. Yeah, you compensate it with a little bit, like, extra padding. You kind of, like... You kind I'll be of, more like, careful uh, in the future. Well, that was pretty I much the last one. So I need you guys to roll two more survivals to bail out water. Okay. That is 19. 18. 18. Yeah, you guys bail out the water enough that even if it was capsizing the ship a little bit, it kind of evens itself out. So the worst case scenario is there's a little bit of residue of water in there, but not enough to keep the ship falling over to the side. Okay. Wake's gonna go around the inside and either wax or pine tar up the bits that he patched. Okay. Remember, it is getting close to like nine o'clock at night at this point. Yeah, but he'd rather not sleep in a sinking Sink- ship. Yeah, no. That's fair. All right, fair, so fair me. an hour has passed. You guys pretty much patch up the ship. Uh, it is now nine o'clock at night. You're kind of sitting in the uh, atoll, like the little cave, the outcropping there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kobold is still knocked out. Micha is ready with another uh, sedative, if worst case scenario. All right. Uh, I want to look through the shit, like that large sack he had on his back. <clears throat> okay, go for it. 
survival or? Oh, no, investigation. Investigate. This thing's got like zippers and I don't understand it. I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> you, just hold up, you just hold up the bag. <laughs> Such mystery. What does it mean? What, what's, what secrets do Meet you have? Meet what mean? She opens up the button flap. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a giant patchwork red button and he's been staring at it the whole time. Newfangled technology. I, <laughs> I thought you pushed buttons. This is new. What do you mean they slip through a slit on the top? I don't, I don't get it. This is why all my stuff has ties. <laughs> Belts for eons. Yeah, I got belts <laughs> everywhere. Anime got it right for once. Uh, so you flap, you open up the flap. A lot of it is a mixed mash and of miscellaneous gear that you that's all your guys' stuff. So hey, like, this, this uh, anybody's here? Just start emptying it on the deck. Yeah, you start emptying out. Like you, you see Chromagill's club. You see hey. uh, one of Meech's doctor's bags. You see. Voltara's sword. You see one of uh, one of the couple of bullets from Morgan's uh, chrom uh, chromatic orb bullets. Oh, the hey, it's just a whole bunch of uh, miscellaneous stuff from you guys. It doesn't look like there's any correlation between the items that fall out. It's just random junk that you guys had in your inventory. Huh? They're just little thieves. All right, let's tie them up. All right. Uh, you guys tie him up. He's now pretty much tethered just to the tied to the mast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's tethered to the mast. Uh, Mitra kind of looks to the rest of you. Well, the sedatives will probably give in a half hour. Uh, I just slap him. <laughs> Medicine with disadvantage. I have key. Disadvantage. Uh, that is a uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah, you uh, you break the DC on it. <laughs> Just, <laughs> ah, I'm not waiting. <laughs> One of his teeth fall out. <laughs> tink, tink. Ah, that was like that when I found you. <laughs> he like looks up and he sees you all. He's like, oh shit. He, he can't. He like looks down at himself. He can't move. He starts. He's now like struggling. I'm gonna roll an ability for him as he's doing so. Uh, Wake is ready to intercept if he gets out. Wiggles free. Yeah, you think these binds are gonna hold? He's ready to get out. He he's he's already found a way to just like pull his clawed fingers forward, and he's popping his entire arm out just to get out. All right, Wake's gonna pin him to the mast with his ghost forearm. Athletics. Uh, that is shit, that is a uh, modified or yeah, sorry, twenty four. Twenty four. <laughs> Yeah, out of nowhere, he just feels his arm completely pressed to the side, and he's now just held there. Nope. You got answers to some questions we might have. <laughs> Good luck trying to figure this out. You can't understand anything I'm saying. He's speaking in Draconic, and then Voltar just looks at him. Also, Chromagill understands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was... <laughs> well, he doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Voltar kind of just, like, smirks and, like, says in a motherly tone, I do. Why is he just... <laughs> Why are you guys just gurgling? He said we wouldn't understand them, but Voltara said we do. Ah! Oh, that that one. The moment. He, oh, he doesn't hear you. You didn't. Just yeah, yeah. I, I haven't spored him yet. So he's just looking. So I'm looking at a mushroom. They go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, he now realizes that you all can understand him for some fucking reason. He's like, mm -mm. All right. Well. I get up in his face, just all over, <laughs> no. and just in a big booming voice. Now tell us what we want to know. Is that an intimidation, technically? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> that said, I didn't imbue my ring for it. I'm not going to use its one daily use on that. Uh, so my intimidation's only a three. <laughs> He's more confused. The moment you get your face close to try to scream at him, he actually bites the su the front of your face. Now tell us where we. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, what is your AC? Uh, my AC is 16. For one point of damage, he like bites your face. Ah! It hurts. It wasn't. It, it was more of a fear response than it was like <laughs> him being snarky with you. That's not a good way to make friends. 
Yes, neither Morgan. is neither is trying to sink our ship, frankly. Go ahead. I'm gonna do an intimidation of my own. I'm gonna whip out the departing and press the blade right on his neck. Oh. That's a 23. Yeah, that's a language he understands. You put the blade right next to his jugular and he feels like his entire body start to like wither in this weird necrotic way that he can't explain to himself. He freezes the fuck up. He says a draconic, I'll be good. Cool. Wake says after somebody translates. <laughs> he says he'll be good. Cool. <laughs> and now that he's been spored, he did hear me explain that. Well, the fact that you haven't killed me this fast means that you obviously want something out of me. Well, go ahead. Information mostly. Why you were here, what you're doing, who you work for. Do you have more of our stuff? I don't. Probably my friends do. Yeah. Let's start with them. Who are they? Who do you work for? We're part. We're the Blueies. I've been called that before, and I, I feel like it was more derogatory than... Well, look, they... they okay, <laughs> so you're the Blueies? If he starts speak, he can't... He tells you that he can speak in common, but it will be broken... It'll be broken English. Uh, history check on that. History check. With, with a three, have I heard of the Blueies? <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, you haven't heard of the infamous Blueies? Never heard of them. I, I'd hope... Me, well, of course you wouldn't. We only just started a few months ago. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I look over when, at when the Baltara. When, this when new Bean, information. When big, uh, when the green boss came in and told us all about uh, this little operation he wants to do, we had nothing else to go for, and our den was completely washed away by a bunch of the uh, the bad greenies. But since that happened, we decided to go with the with the better, uh, more, I don't know, savvy greenie. Kinda, all right. I kind of nudge Wake. I don't really deal with kobolds that often. Do they always refer to each other with their color? I kind of like it. I, I don't I don't really know. I mean, I've only really hung out with one. Oh. And he didn't really. Okay. Baltara is going to... Let me see if I roll a uh, persuasion for her versus him. As she uh, looks to him and goes, Well, you're obviously talking about your scale color, if, if that's right. She And let's see. He rolled a five versus her 15, so that's not happening. Well, we the, that's what the boss calls us. The, all the rest of my friends and my family and my uh, my den mates, we're all the, we're all the blueies to him, but him, he's he's something different. He's more squat, he looks more like a gnome with really big ears. Gnome with really big ears. Does he have a hat by chance? Does he wear something on his head? Um. No, he he had, doesn't wear a hat. Hmm. No. How, how do you know the, if you, well if you know the boss and you clearly you know something about him? I never said I knew your boss. I'm gonna do a history check if that's okay. Go for it. What are you trying to to determine what race that he's describing? Okay, that would be a insight. Okay, so insight. <laughs> with the current information you have right now, it's gonna have to be with a disadvantage. Okay. Rolled the same thing twice. That's a 19. 19? He's talking about a goblin. A goblin? Is that what they're called? Oh, that's what he keeps saying. That's what that word means. Oh, we, we just thought of him as a really ugly kobold at first. <clears throat> they, they come across that way sometimes. I could see it. So, <clears throat> this boss of yours, do you have a name? He doesn't like te us saying his name. He just we just like to call him boss. That's what he likes. Of course. They're they're usually like that. Well, I think we're going to need an introduction with your boss as he is now uh proclaimed war against Captain Mead. How are you insinuating that? <laughs> we work for him. No, no, no. I mean like uh, above game. Above game. How are you is this intimidation, this persuasion, what? I'm just gonna do like they're they're the same role for me, so technically it's just a charisma check, and he can take it however he wants. I think. Okay, so that would be a persuasion check then. All right. Oh my god, a good charisma roll for Wake. Sixteen. Yeah, he ain't getting good rolls either. You just that watch was a his, good roll for me. <laughs> like, you just watch as his neck kind of cranes into his body when you say that out loud, like, "Oh fuck, what have I done?" <laughs> 
So we're gonna need to have a chit chat with your boss in order to oh. get all this stuff settled to make sure that, you know, everything's in ship shape, unlike our ship, which you guys sabotaged and robbed. Mm-hmm. Boss is gonna be mad. He told me not to touch anything from the mead ships. Oh, he's probably gonna be a little upset, but it's all a misunderstanding. We just need to work it out and. He's going to be a lot more upset if you don't help us figure this whole thing out. It's true. He's going to be upset no matter what. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know if I should tell him. He's now just fucking crippling in fear at this whole entire mess he's put himself in. Hey, whatever's going on, we basically outrank him. <laughs> Persuasion check. <laughs> 13. He doesn't buy that. He's just like, that makes... No, that doesn't make sense. Well, if, he, if Mead outranks him and we work for Mead, that means that, you know, he attacked somebody wrongfully. I'm going to do a persuasion check, and I'm going to use the con man's ring. So that's persuasion with advantage. Yep. What are you telling him? Give me one second. Let me roll the die real quick. Um, plus three. That's 22. I just play with the ring, and I just wave my hand. You will take us to your boss. Brian, why do you make me hate rolling this dice? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Natural <laughs> wonders! Natural one. <laughs> uh, maybe I will tell you everything. <laughs> oh, gee, I guess. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, I did put a sword to his throat, so... And I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I haven't said a word until yeah. now. Yeah, you pretty much made yourself the bouncer of this situation. <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to have to take you to the boss in the morning, of course. Okay, well, are you gonna let me go? No. Oh. Don't worry. But we'll... It's so cold out here. I'll catch death. Roll, he's rolling a persuasion against you. Roll insight. I was going to put him in like a brig. Uh, insight for wake is a seven. A 12 for me. Oh, so party roll. Okay. At 16 plus four, that's a modified 20. You, Micha, and Valtara know he's talking shit. Oh, he's, just, he's just trying to cue himself up to get him out of the situation. Oh, we wouldn't want this him to poor get, baby! We wouldn't want him to get sick, I guess, especially if he's going to help us in the morning. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's being really upfront about all this now. Valtara, Micha, and, and Morgan are just sitting there just like, no. You Maybe if we just let him go and he'll make introductions for us and we'll just go there in the morning. <laughs> Micha pulls out her syringe. Yeah! Oh! I got sleepy all of a sudden. I guess that'll maybe... The drool might keep him There's warm. There's a giant fucking welt on the side of his neck because the fucking injection didn't go all the way in. That... That's probably... In your professional it. medical opinion, is that okay? Eh. <laughs> well, I'm just start wrapping him in a net to make sure he stays <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> Mecha kind of just looks at you, takes out her scalpel and cuts where his nose is. You almost suffocated him. That's bad, right? He would die. Oh. We don't want that. All right. And then I, when I'm done wrapping the net around the mast, I take a chain, start going around with that. <laughs> this guy ain't going nowhere. Even with the squirmy, I don't think he's getting out of that. <laughs> well, you now have a prisoner. <laughs> Welcome to the high seas. Tied to the mast. <laughs> so everyone's going to go to sleep now, yeah? Yeah. Yep. I think we'll take shifts making sure he doesn't get out, per se. But. <laughs> All right, so then everyone roll in the sh or unless you guys want to take shifts. Uh, Wake's willing to take first shift. Uh, Chromagill's fine watching whenever. He'll, okay. he'll, he'll have fun just talking to him in his language and, and, and hearing him if he wakes up. Voltara will take watch as well, considering that she understands the guy, and, hey, she might be able to mom some info out of him. <clears throat> All right, also so fair. first watch, you. Yep. Perception, I'm guessing. Uh, well, not yet. Okay. You don't, you don't really need to roll anything just yet. Do do do. So I'm gonna say, how long do you think you're gonna keep your watch out for? Three, four hours? Uh, if we have four people watching, sounds about right. Okay. 
three hours ish. All right, cool. Three hours rolls around. You're now at like midnight. Uh, everything's kind of quiet on the high seas. You hear the wind, the uh, wind blowing. You hear uh, the waves breaking. A couple of bats kind of swoop by because you're sitting underneath the bridge in the atoll. Huh. Uh, there are some weird chittering noises you hear deeper inside the cave, but like not anything that sounds like it's nearing your ship. It's just probably some kind of creature that's just sitting up in the top and hunting for smaller prey. Probably one of the bats at this point. Unless you feel that's a little bit more important to take note of. I'll make note of the noises, but have no reason to investigate. Okay. Uh, so, you watch this guy for the most of your watch. Uh, roll me a investigation check. 18. 18? Uh, keeping an eye on him, kind of the wind is putting a breeze in some of the mast and the tarp that's wrapped around him. Uh, he's not moving, but he is breathing. Like, you could see, like, you, obviously, Valtar just, like, did a little bit of an extra bit where she, like, just put the tarp over his snout so he can breathe properly. Right. Uh, he's still sitting there. He hasn't moved. He's kind of sleeping at this point. Uh, something kind of, like, lands right on top of the tarp in front of him. Like, one of the bats is hanging off the tarp. And then another one follows, and then another one follows. Like, they all just thought, hey, this might be a cool place to nestle here. I'm going to shoo him away. Okay, animal handling. One of those random things I took proficiency in. This wake likes animals. Me uh, too. 15. Yeah, go on. Shoo. They don't really, like, fly away. They just kind of, like, crawl away. Like, just trying to find another place where they can just sit on the ma- on the uh, mast without bothering Up that way. the situation. There. Up there. But you kind of, like, shoo them up to the top, and then finally they just, like, flap their wings and fly away. Ah, children of the night. What music they make. Fun fact, in the play, they're for wolves. Roll me one perception check. 16. 16? Eh, you don't hear anything. Uh, you kind of, like, look back, and you notice that nothing's happening. Uh, your watch ends. You feel no incident has occurred. All right. <clears throat> next. I'll go ahead and go next. I, right. I nudge him. <laughs> your watch. Oh. Understood. <laughs> just kind of just stomps over and then <laughs> slumps like just feet away from him. The moment that you come up to the front, all the bats that were trying to nestle on top of the uh, mast now just fly away seeing you. They have no fucking idea what you are, so they just, they fucking bail. Goodbye. All right, you are now sitting and staring at this man for the next couple of hours. Roll me a investigation check. Sitting and staring is something Chromagill is quite familiar with. Investigation? Yep. 17. 17? So you remember Voltara cutting a hole near his mouth, so he's able to put his snout out of it. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, you don't remember that there were little cuts right near his waist. And you can't remember for the life of you if that was the bats doing, because they kept climbing on down on it, or if they have the strength to even do that. Just kind of filter some of his rapport spores into into the breathing holes and the areas. Oh, he, he if you spore him, he'll be okay. fine. Okay, all right. Hey, if you're if you're trying to get out of there, I I kind of like pokes at where the, he's noticing these other cuts. I I see what you're doing. If this is you, roll me another investigation check. Uh, Fourteen. You kind of like poke the hole in there, and it feels like your finger, because of how big it is, just made it a little bit wider. Ooh, probably shouldn't do that. It's kind of. <laughs> Yeah, you pull it back out. Pokes gi- gives a nudge in the general area. You know this place. I, I'm seeing stuff. Don't you? Don't you think I haven't noticed? He just looks like he's still asleep at this point. Like he's still knocked out. You, you, you awake in there? He doesn't if, respond. If you are, I know you can hear me. I'm in your head. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just, just, um, just making <laughs> droning noises. Just, just, just Tina Belcher noises. Pretty much. Just, uh, uh, 
Come on. <laughs> He's never really been put in charge of a prisoner, so he's not entirely sure how we should be treating him. So are you actually trying to, like, gauge him to get... It's out? more he is, like, he still has a childlike curiosity and wants to just talk to this creature. And so he's like, if you're awake, we can, you know, we can talk. We don't, you don't have to sit here in silence. It's okay. Hey. But also a, if you're awake, you need to tell me. <laughs> you you are legally really obligated those to are the tell rules. me. <laughs> yeah. That is the blatant viol that is a blatant violation of the governing rules if you don't talk to me. I'll, I'll, I know you can hear me if, if you're awake, so I'm just gonna keep talking to you. Because if you're asleep, you don't care anyway. Hello. <laughs> hey, there's some noise. All right, you're alive. Kind of like tries to listen. What what were you saying there, buddy? <laughs> uh, I don't. I can't quite. Didn't quite catch that. You can't catch that because his entire mouth is covered over his face because the tarp is pushing down on it. He's, he's using his mouth. He doesn't understand the concept of talking to you with his head. Oh, 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 I see. Your your mouth is kind of caught. No, uh, here. <laughs> I guess if I, mm, mm, I, I shouldn't. What's mm. here, Grant? Here, I, I just kind of like <laughs> looks at him, just how, hold on. I'm, I'm going to run my own check on how dumb Chromagill would be in this moment. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm going to just go high-low. Lower it is the less intelligent choice he makes. That was a five. Oh. Uh, so he's going to, like, he is not just going to tear more openings, but he is going to kind of, like, try and, like, nudge, like, no, there's, like, a hole for you to breathe here. You could probably, like, kind of just, like, kind of jabs at it a little bit. You could probably get some better air right here and, like, kind of just taps it. All right. While you're jabbing at the uh, the kind of like sidebar, uh, the, the side of the tarp to like try and get his mouth open a little bit more, like you see, like a bit more of his mouth is way more visible. Hey, there it is. That's some teeth. Ah. <sighs> you see, we don't have to be mean to each other. I know you've stolen from us, and we don't I'm really blind. have. Blind. What? I can't see. Oh, that's because the net's covering your face. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Don't 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 worry. We have you. If you're going, if you're going to kill me, just get it over with now. Kill? Oh no, no, no! We we don't have any such plans. At least not yet. That's mostly up to you. <laughs> just kind of lets that one linger for a second. He's not talking. Of course, if it's up to me, I I wouldn't want to kill you. I I I just kind of know. I you said you're with the Blueies. Do do you have a name? Bluey. You, your name is Bluey, and you. We're joined all Bluey. Well, that's... Look, as someone who tends to name people based on what they look like, that's going to get confusing fast. <laughs> We're all Bluey. That's what the boss told us. Well, okay, Bluey. Does this Bluey have any dreams, aspirations? Why do you steal things? <laughs> roll a persuasion check. I'm going to roll an insight for him. <laughs> uh, persuasion, you said? Yep. That is a six. Well, he rolled a six, too. Ooh. I steal for the boss. That's what I'm supposed to do. So if you didn't have your boss, you wouldn't steal? Maybe. I'd probably just steal other things without being told to. Have, have you ever considered making an honest living? No. This what? is an honest living. This is what I do. What? I'm a thief for the den. But, but stealing just tends to take away from other people, and that makes them upset. And then that upset energy tends to follow you How back is home. How stealing from people if I'm just stealing eggs for food? Well, I mean, those eggs are probably precious to someone. And somewhere there is likely a market that is selling eggs that you could, you know, take. Oh, God. Are you fucking introducing <laughs> a black market to this thing? <laughs> I mean, Why technically he's introducing the real market. Yeah, yeah. I'm more trying to go like, hey, you, I know you steal things, and I get that life's tough, but more Chromagill is going like, hey, a, a while ago, I was a mushroom in the woods, and now I follow around this crew, and we buy and sell things, and there are jobs, and people have a... We live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> Chromagill is describing what he believes to be economics. <laughs> oh, my basically. fucking God. And he's just like, I've... I've I used to trade pebbles <laughs> for sustenance. <laughs> yeah, there used to there used to just be way of the nature, but... Lately, I've been finding that people have a, a sense of, you know, 
community and sharing and buying and selling with one another. And, you know, just figured people might not get so mad at you and you might not need to hide so much if you were up front. If, for instance, had you come aboard our ship and said you needed supplies, there's a very real chance we would have just given them to you. But you stealing them has made us enemies, and I don't like that. People just think I'm enemies anyway because of who I am. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, and that shouldn't be. Just kind of pats him. Okay. <laughs> that's a reaction. <laughs> no, that's good. All right. Well, you know, just thought, thought I'd let you know that before the sun comes up and everybody's all mad at you again, just wanted to let you know that I was willing to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sit here and keep watching you now. Don't, don't try to escape. Otherwise, all of this was for nothing. <laughs> he doesn't respond. Brutal. <laughs> he doesn't respond. Just sits down and just awaits the rest of his watch in silence. Perception. <clears throat> uh, 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 modified 20. Modified 20? Yeah, you keep, uh, you keep an eye on him. You, like because of who you are and you standing there is not a problem. You've probably been standing still for centuries at one point in your life. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doing this watch was child's play. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you are the staring contest master. <laughs> the perfect sentinel. <laughs> uh, you keep an eye on him. Nothing really happens. The wind's blowing. The sea's rocking the ship. Uh, your time has passed. Who are you going to pass it on to? Voltara, are you awake? Oh, I am now, dear. Well, you, you're you the other member on this ship who understands him, so I figured if anyone might have a chance of getting through to him, it would be you. Uh, do take note, though, I kind of point out the, the small cuts that I had seen. I'm not sure if this was left by... Oh, you go back to check on him? He's gone. Do be sure to check Technically, where... he didn't have to leave to talk to her. He was. Well, he... Oh, shit. Well, he was there. <laughs> well, this got a lot worse. I was gonna crack a joke, you know, every time you talk, I hear you, I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Crowagill Crow runs over. Uh, okay, I was just here, and he was just here, and, oh no, uh, uh, uh. You look, you, you, you point out where you were gonna show off the hole. It's bigger, he cut himself out. I was- Slight of hand checks, they're very <laughs> speedy creatures. I was, I was. He was netted, tied up, and <laughs> chained. Didn't have all of his limbs chained. He was able to do a little. God bit damn of it! Here. They have squirmy, dude. That's an ability. <laughs> there's five. That's there's, it's there's fair. Nail files just come in handy. I, I kept. That's why I kept doing this in the background. My friendly pat was what put him over the edge. Uh, well, I, I'm gonna just investigate, or would it be perception or investigate to try and figure Are out a trail? Are we all awake now? Uh, Voltar pretty much just yells down. He escaped. God damn it! I'm gonna uh, kill him! <laughs> uh, Wake just runs up, jumps off the ship, and dives into the water. Okay. Spe spear in hand. You dive into the water. There's a couple of sharks swimming around. Out of my way! I yell in Aquin. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> it's technically animal handle, but I'll yeah, Animal handle, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, animal handle is a modified 20. Well, they got a nat 20. They're just still swimming around. They don't give a shit. Fucking whatever. Whoosh! <laughs> what the hell was what, that? What direction? Yeah. What, what was that? Uh, you? towards the shore that I remember him swimming towards the first time. I'm just searching. Okay. And uh, I swim a lot faster than him. Okay. Uh, so roll me a perception check. All right. Uh, perception is 15. 15? and they're probably very stealthy little bastards. Mm -hmm. And it is the pitch black darkness of the sea at this point. Yup. Man. I had my paralyzing spores and I was like inches away from being like, well anyways, my shift's up, but... <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I was like, ah, he, he didn't respond cruelly to my stuff, so Chromagill's just like, he's just scared. Boy, was he wrong. He had some... Uh... And by extension, so was I. <laughs> I was trying to recruit a new cast member. Sorry. <laughs> well, he could still be a Yuffie. He <laughs> ran away this time. But... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so 
you keep swimming around. You're swimming in the direction where you believe the shoreline is supposed to be, but because of how turned around you were at the oh. beginning of this. To be fair, I do have an ability that I do not lose my sense of direction. I was going to point that okay, out, though. Okay, cool. I was going to point that out. Awesome. At first, you figure, I'm going to go keep going up on the surface of the water to see if, because that's where everyone else was at the point, because, hey, they were in the ship and they were carving it out. But then you think, wait a minute. If I was trying to hide away from someone else, I'd try to go to the seafloor. So you swim down. <sighs> there are more sharks still swimming around. They kind of like get out of your way because you're dive bombing on top of them. In Aquana, in the Aquana yelled at them, You guys seen a kobold? Little blue thing? The fuck's a kobold? Fish, fish, food, food, bite. Kind of, but with hands. Bite, food, hands? These things. <laughs> Never mind. Fish, food, food, bite. Fish that way. Crabs down that way. <laughs> They'll swim down. Ah, distant cousins. <laughs> it's like an entourage. Yeah. <laughs> Just Aquaman a bunch of fucking sharks to go down to the bottom. Uh, you swim down. You notice that there are some items that actually have hit the floor. Like, there's bits of cloth that mm -hmm. were on this kobold's body. They, he was wearing a sort of a weird kind of like broken up tunic, like it was two sizes too big for him. And him being able to cut himself out based on your uh, uh, based on your observation, he would have had to cut through his shirt in order to get it out, and that's exactly what he did. There's a piece of cloth on the floor that looks like his clothing. I taste it to get a sense for, the, <laughs> to get my water sense of smell. Survival. Nom, 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 nom. Tastes like you uh, bought this shirt on a Wednesday. 24. Coles. I knew it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You uh, flare. Burlap. <laughs> you fucking flare your nostrils up, and uh, you look off to the side. You're uh, you kind of like do this weird kind of like your irises kind of like perk in on themselves. You uh, yeah, you try to like sonar clothing, and you see bits and pieces near where the ship used to be, like that one body that was being torn up by a bunch of sharks now at this point in coconut crabs. Hmm. Uh, so the smell of, like you said, the smell of burlap is kind of like sonaring through the water. It's off in the distance. It's way too far away at this point, but you do know where he swam to. I'm going that way. And leaving Once the rest I of your let crew everybody there. know. <laughs> <laughs> so you do have, as, as far as you can in the ocean by this point, like, you swimming underwater, you can tell which way he went. Above uh, water, that's going to be another story. And am I correct in assuming that he went towards that same shoreline he was heading to the first time? Yep. He may be a slippery little bastard, but he's not quite smart. He's predictable. I pop back up. So surprising no one, he went to his crew. It's that way. Mitya kind of like comes up with a nightgown and a little thing over, like a little band over her eyes. What? It's okay, Mitya. You can go back to sleep unless you want to come hunt down kobolds. <laughs> she, puts the, she puts the veil back over her eyes and goes back to sleep. We needed somebody to watch the ship anyway. <laughs> Chromagill looks to Morgan. You're more of a shipwright than I am. Do you want to take us in the direction he pointed at? Uh, you do have a lifeboat that you guys can swim you down that way. That works too. I can tug it. All right, so... You and, uh, unfortunately, since because of how big Chromagill is and how big Voltara is, you're not, she's not fitting on that small dinky thing. She will sink it with you on top of it. Don't worry. Uh, you, I was a bad watch tonight. I'll go looking for him. I'll put in the legwork. Voltara, you can stay here. Very well, dear. With that, you, you were about to sink down, so... Pan, picture, if you will, the camera pans down to to Wake sitting in the water. It's like, roll a dexterity save. Uh, that is, you said dex save? Yeah. Uh, 18. This is not for anything important, because I was about to say, like, as a gag, the fucking, like, you just see the camera pan down to the base of the ship on the surface of the water. There's, uh, there's Wake's head. <laughs> the lifeboat <laughs> he pops out on the other side ow we're coming with you all right uh so i need you two to roll me a survival check to uh row this thing out in there or athletics of your choice 
I'm going to assist them by pulling it via a rope. 18 okay. on athletics. 15. We'll take uh, Chromagill since you, on assist it gives it advantage. Okay. So you are you're you with your big arms kind of just like wave the oars in and you're pushing the boat further. Uh, you guys hit the shoreline. It is now currently I'm going to say like 2 o'clock in the morning. Alright, uh, I'm going to first and foremost uh, just attempt to track because this guy would have had to have come to shore around this area too unless there's underwater caves that I'm unaware of. But I'm going to look for tracks. Okay. That's survival, right? Yes. Uh, 25. 25? No nat 20s, but I'm rolling a lot of 18s and 19s. Uh... It does look like there are footprints or claw prints based on his feet. However, because of the sand being constantly washed over by the uh, incoming tide, it disappears going into uh, further into the sand. So you see the entry point, but once they get off the surface of the water, their tracks disappear. It's but really you, you have about, a heading. He's really tricky about hiding his tracks, but I can smell his burlap. That way. <laughs> uh, from what you guys are currently sitting on, you are sitting. Uh, you are now standing on the side of a beach. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pebble beach, so uh, very small, tiny rocks. Maybe a tiny bit of sand, but like the sand kind of like ebbs into the water and then it goes into pebble. And then beyond that uh, is a vast jungle. Going in, like looking into the jungle, you can only probably see a glint of moonlight trickling down on top of the uh, trees that are breaking outside of the woods. Looking in deeper, you're going to need some dark vision or a torch to keep you going forward. Well, luckily I have dark vision, so I see just fine. I got a torch on me. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Wake's going to try to be a little bit ahead, taking the disadvantage on whatever perceptions he'll have to take, but he wants to be stealthy and make sure that nobody can see, like, a light coming through a dark jungle. Okay. So you're going to remain stealthy, then. You guys are just going to keep going forward? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now, here's the one thing I am going to state, though. Chromagill will probably be able to see you if you roll low enough. However, if you roll high enough, they will have to beat your score in able to, to be able to, to follow still you. see you with the stealth check. That's how dark this jungle is. So you could... Your, your allies can lose sight of you. Gotcha. Uh, so are we still going to continue with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, cool. Stealth. Hey, uh, Wake, you, you, you're you further ahead. I'll try Ninja and... Ninja Vanish! <laughs> I'm just uh, going to try and keep in communication with you. Tell me if we're getting off track, if uh, you notice that. And uh, you know if I lose you, I might just yell for you. It's a 19 if you need to make a perception check. <laughs> All right. So you rolled a 19. So currently right now, the DC is 19 to beat him with a disadvantage. Okay, uh, with perception. perception. Well, he doesn't have disadvantage, if I'm correct, because he has he can, dark vision. Well, yeah. yeah, he doesn't have the disadvantage. You have the disadvantage. Yep. So we have to roll perception on him to find him? If you want to keep looking for him. Okay. I, I'll see if I can keep track of him here. I definitely don't. <laughs> with the two. Did you vanish? Yeah. All right, wake up. Where'd he go? Some. It, it was so weird. You saw him there, and then the moment he stepped in, it was just like a giant wall of darkness just enveloped him, and he's gone. Wake, I can't see you, but just, you know, sound off if you run into trouble. I'll try and somewhat follow where I think you went. All right, so you... I, I, th I throw an acorn at a tree next to him. As a signal is yes. Insight. <laughs> it, hits, it, it hits him in the face and he still doesn't know where you are. Tunk. Ah! Where are you? We might be under attack. Be careful. <laughs> Wake uh, stealthily rolls his eyes. <laughs> there are other... Uh, oh, animals around that. you guys, though, at this point. There are a bunch of these coconut crabs hanging off the trees based on your uh, your torchlight. Mm. Hey, fellas, did you see a small blue kobold creature run by? Their eyes kind of, like, peer up. With my silver tongue, I can talk to any creature. <laughs> what? What, mon? Yeah, there was, oh, of course. <laughs> there was this little... The, the, a small reptilian fellow, maybe a, a, a short while ago, may have darted past here. Did you Did you see him? Okay, I don't think we're going to get anything out of this guy. <laughs> Just because they can talk doesn't mean they're intelligent. Nope, absolutely. Nope, not at all. <laughs> and also, they're giants, so they're just like not paying you any mind. So remember, coconut crabs can probably grow about half the size of this table Ooh, on any given day. That'd be a big crab. It's impressive. 
Dude, I'm not kidding. I, I've, I've, I've never seen a coconut. I've, I've seen, like, those Alaskan king crabs are, like, the size of a dude. No, it's, like, crazy. But. No, coconut crabs are fucking massive. Damn. They, they, they can snap steel, no fucking problem. Yeah. Well, as you were, we'll, we'll, we'll keep looking for them. All right. Uh, so you guys head into the uh, head into the cave. I need you to roll me another survival check. So what exactly? So before you tell me the number, what exactly are you looking for at this point? Uh, from up here, I am, uh, which I'm assuming I'm going to have to do this at disadvantage anyway. But uh, I'm looking for signs of you know tracks or at least frequent movement because we know they travel in a pack, so they'd probably travel in a very similar route to get to where they're going. Okay. So you're looking for uh, you're looking for pack travel. Yeah, basically. That's fine. Uh, what was your number? Uh, if I'm not doing it at disadvantage, it is a twenty-four. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll give it to you. Okay. I will give it to you. Uh, so you try to like find breaks in leaves and whatnot. You're you're certain they came this way. Uh. Wandering around, you finally take notice that there are more tracks here. There is a break in the leaves that a small creature looks like it actually rustled through. Hmm. And it looks like something came in a hurry over here. However, there are other tracks suited behind this, uh, the small scaled one. An even larger scaled one. Twice the size of what the kobold track looks like. I said he was working with a goblin. This is... Something more along the size of what Onslow is. Huh. Uh, there are, with that 24, I'll give you this. The uh, bigger track that is following behind it, uh, the kobold has three prong talons and one in the back. This one has four prong and two in the back. Hmm. Four and two, four and two. And it is way <laughs> wider than the kobold's. I have no idea what this is. It's reptilian of sorts. I am going to basically, uh, since I'm a bit ahead of them, going to make a visible mark around this track with a, like, like oh take boy. my dagger out and circle it. Okay. And then circle the other tracks, just kind of pointing them out, letting them know this way in case they lose track. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception check, you two. You with disadvantage, yep. you with uh, just flat. Nine. They're gonna walk right into the trap unless you stop them somehow. There's a trap? Not a, not a... <laughs> oh shit! Well, well, well! Tip in the old hand! That's. You know what? I. I discovered it before I even knew it! Yeah, no. I. I that was. There is no trap. I meant footmark. Gotcha. They're gonna you meant track. 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 Yeah. Track, yes. Rocks Just... fall, everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. It was going. actually a tiger pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So they're about to walk into your like markings at this point, but you see like the torch like coming near, so you can stop them if you break stealth. I'm just gonna throw an acorn at Chromegill's head again. Roll insight. <laughs> Not my best thing. Ooh, 19. Tink. Wait a minute. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Hold on, Morgan. What? I think Wake's trying to tell us something. <laughs> 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 There's just this two gears that represent uh, <laughs> Chromagill's brain. Just, <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us something. Wait, it's almost like a game of skee ball when he does that. Like if I can get it into the eye, yeah, just if you get rattles it in the around, eyes, five thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where it comes out, but it comes out somewhere. This this acorn has lodged itself in my brain, and my intelligence is twenty percent higher. Uh, I think I think that was Wake just now. Hold on, we should let's take a take a better look around. Uh, with a perception of fifteen now, do I All see? All right, you okay. can do normal since you're yeah. in torchlight. Natural twenty. Ooh. You see the markings on the floor. There are two scratch marks uh, around what looks like a footprint of a kobold and something way bigger. So, goblin might not be a thing. No, I've met goblins. They're definitely a thing. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, yeah, that doesn't look like goblin feet. If anyone wants to try and figure out what this is, that would be a nature check. Hey, I've got pretty good in that. Let's see. 
Might go take a shot at if it. If a 12 tells me anything. 12? Nah. Hmm. Wake thinks it's entirely fabricated. <laughs> oh, no! A natural zero! Jesus Pretty sure it's God. undead. You know what, F it, I don't get any minuses. I'm gonna try. Pretty sure it might have been a ghost <laughs> trick. Nature. <laughs> Nature. Now that I know those are real, because my hand is one. Seven. Chromiel, based on the footprint, you can't tell what the creature is, but you know it's feral. You kind of just, like, move your hand off to the side, like, right a little bit more to the right. There's the same footprint right beside it, just a few inches to the side. Whatever is chasing after the kobold is on all fours. Oh, this thing's... This thing has four limbs. It's it's running on all fours. Mm. This And it's chasing. This... Our kobold friend might... Well... Have become you know, dinner? Friend... Uh, might be in danger. And he kind of does just, you know, hand, finger quotes with his weird mushroomy fingers. You move your hand again to try to find the other four footprints. There is a small coin sitting nestled in between the floor. Uh, in, uh, like, in the floor. It's, like, kind of, like, ebbed out just a little bit. You can only just barely see the rim of it. Wait a minute. There's There seems to be some sort of, like, a coin here. Can you, I uh, like, pluck the coin out? Yes. It is no make of any sort of coin that works in any currency you've seen so far. This is an ancient coin. There it looks like a weird cat with long tusks coming out from the bottom and the top. And the way that this uh, depiction is painted, it looks like the creature is way more angular than it actually is circular, but that might just be because of the make of the coin. Here I was trying to explain to Bluey that you could buy things, and they've got some sort of currency I've never seen before. They might be more advanced than I thought. <laughs> Can I have a look? Sure. Let's see him. In a history check. Yeah. That's a 10. Never seen this coin before. You have no idea. Nope. This, uh, it, but by the way the coin is made, it looks primitive. It's old. That's all I got. Wake, I don't know if you can hear me how far ahead you are, but uh, we we found the tracks, and we also found a weird coin. Also, the creature, the one with too many ta uh, you know, toes, might be on all fours. You're and, literally right next to him. They just don't see you. It could be very scary. I'm on a branch, like, just above his head. Anyway, just thought you should know that. Wherever you might be, this message might be going to no one. Wake taps the top of your... Uh, Sometimes it's like he's just right here with me. Just and then he pursues off to try to track whatever this massive creature is to see if he can get to that kobold first. You're going to follow the, co the creature's footprints this time? Uh, if it looks like it was tearing off chasing this, as they are implying, and Wake okay. has no reason to disbelieve them. No, that's fair. Uh, survival check. Now that he's tracking a larger creature, should technically, hopefully, be easier. Uh, survival is uh, 23 this time. You are absolutely correct. That is the case at this point. All right. Uh, tracking the bigger creature was the better idea because the kobold tracks disappear after a certain point. However, the bigger... Followed by a trail of blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There's no blood. You, you would be able to smell that if that was the case. Uh, you feel that your senses would have been way more heightened to be able to check that sort of stuff, considering you're part fucking shark. Yeah. Uh... So you continue on ahead. I need you two to now roll a survival check because you're not following him technically. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, 25. 17. 17? Chromagill like a champ, you fucking just like, you just galaxy brain in on this footprint. Here, this way. <laughs> this, yeah, like moment, momentarily, you like the kobold like track is gone, but you're just like, no, 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 <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bruh. This way. This way. I know what's up. He thinks he's, he's good, but he doesn't realize he's being chased by someone significantly less good. <laughs> <laughs> so, the kobold got smart. He's hiding his tracks, but the creature is still following him. That's how you can gauge from that. Okay. So, you keep following it. You're following him, so that's fine. And you, like, you have a little bit of a sense of what's going on, but you're pretty much all in the same general direction at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's just Naruto hopping between the tree branches. <laughs> Uh, 15 minutes go by. Uh, there are more of these weird coins on the floor as you keep going. Hmm. Like, first you saw one. You're like, oh, that's a weird coincidence. Then a second one. Then another 10 minutes go by, and now you find four. 
Have they all been sort of embedded in the ground or just like like they were dropped? Some look like they're dropped. Some look like they were planted in the ground. Okay. I'm trying to grow them money trees. I had initially thought that maybe this was some sort of like trail for the blueies to follow to find their way back to their own place, but maybe not. They're not all, you know, seemingly intelligently placed. Hmm. Either all way, we, they might have had some sort of cache of strange foreign coins that at least I've never seen. Uh, Are you going to stop to pick them up? He's not going to stop and pick them up, but he's going to like point them out if he sees them. Okay, all three of you hear a low rumble growl. But anyway, do you hear that? Yep. Perception to see where it's coming from. All right. Ah, there it is. Nat 20. I was waiting on that one. All right. Uh, since this is hearing, it's not on disadvantage. Uh, it's above you. Uh, a really deep growl coming from up top. Uh, it was a low rumble, had a little bit of a hiss that grinded alongside of it. Uh, can I make out what the creature is when I do look up? That would be a nature check. Okie dokie. 17. You remember in right that uh, a couple of the adventurers that came in there, one of them was a beast tamer of sorts, and their most favorite pet was a drake. That's what you hear, but way more feral. Oh, uh, if I recall correctly, these things can be domesticated. Uh, do I get the sense that, like, when I look at it and I see it, is it looking at me or is it looking at them? You because don't I'm, see I'm it. You just stuck. heard it. Okay. I know like you you don't see th you don't see this thing, but you have a general idea. Like, hey, there's something above us, but you don't know if it's like you heard it growl. You don't know if it's chasing you guys. You don't know if it's doing something else. You just know that. This thing is here. All right. Did everybody else manage to catch that it's up here? I have a perception of 11. Mm -hmm. 19. Chromagill does not hear the creature. I'll, Morgan does. I'll give Chromagill more advantage by throwing another acorn. <laughs> Insight. Insight. Uh, 15. Wait a minute. Last time this hit me, that meant something. I should check again. With 16 on my perception. 16 on perception? Yeah. Uh, you're using sight or because... Yeah, I have dark vision, so I'd probably be thinking I'm supposed to look. There looks like there's a giant paw that fits the same, like, make of the footprint that you guys have been following. It's hanging off the tree, like, a 10 feet away from you. Morgan, I don't want to alarm you, but I think the thing we've been following is right there. Oh, I hear it. You know, now I do too. I probably should have... Good thinking. More, <laughs> more than just eyes, this guy. <laughs> like I said, ten feet away, there's the paw hanging off the side. It is as big as Morgan's head. I don't know if it's noticed us yet. You have a torch on. Slowly. Still... <laughs> Extinguish it hand. in the sand. Slight of hand. Slight of hand. At least it's a dex thingy. Try not to make any sudden movements. 16 <gasps> plus 4. Soft 20. There is no sand, however, but you do step on it. Like, you just, like, like grab the, the heel of your boot and just, like, rub it out. The creature does not move. From what you guys can gather, based on how list and how lazy it seems to be, it's asleep on the tree above you. Okay, I, th I think it's asleep. Now the, the conversationalist in me wants to tell him that doesn't need to worry about us and we're friends, but that might wake it up and, and cause all kinds of problems. So I think we should just try and quietly make our way past. There's one problem. I can't see in the dark. Oh. <laughs> I was going to offer to just follow the sound of my voice, but that really doesn't help. What with me telepathic, te telepathically talking to you. And with, your, with his telepathy, you're able to now surmise that the creature is 10 feet above you. From where you are, though, you're like 20 feet ahead of everyone else, hmm. so you just heard from them that the creature is above them. Oh, boy. I'm going to try to very slowly move. 
The mushroom man does <laughs> stealth. Let's go. Oh. Fuck me. All right, so that's a two on that old stealth roll. Crunch. <laughs> Just one little. <laughs> you family guy face forward right on top of this thing's paw and high five it with your face. <clears throat> Slap. This is where we'll take a break. Great. We'll be right back. After this, there's the camera. Oh, I wonders. Welcome back to the table. Hey. Um. All right. So I stepped I'm just on gonna a, say this. something loud. We're not gonna worry about like a combat board for this because I want you guys to play with your powers more than I want there to be a combat scenario. Gotcha. Okay. Uh. So. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Well, if there is going to be initiative, it's just for timing convenience. Gotcha. If there's going to be initiative, there's a spell I have that I can only trigger during initiative, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's the case, then because you pretty much just like high five this thing with your face. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I guess I will ask for initiative, but we're just going to go by like, initiative. You say. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use Nature Sense, a spell I've recently picked up. What uh, does Nature Sense do, What Grant? does that do? Uh, well, uh, I quickly close my eyes and focus on my surroundings as multiple scenes of, of the immediate area flash through my mind, uh, and I, allowing me to sense the presence of humanoids, beasts, fey, and plant creatures within a 100-foot diameter sphere centered around me. The spell does not reveal the sensed creature's location or number, but it does let me use a wisdom check instead of a dexterity check to determine my place in the initiative order. And in addition, attacks made against me or my allies have disadvantage during the first round of combat, and our al and my and my me and my allies have advantage on saving throws against spells during the first round of combat. Wow, that's really strong. Yeah. So that's we basically cool. so basically enemies get disadvantage on us for the first round, is essentially the most important part of it. If our initiative. Okay, and you can use your wisdom instead of your really low dex. Exactly. Which, ooh, a nat 20 on the die would have had me in a good place regardless. Uh, you Pretty got a nat much. 20? Mm -hmm. uh, with your dex, what does that make you? Because the uh, creature also got a nat 20. Uh, well, with my with wisdom, wisdom. Uh, due, to my, due to the nature sense, that gives me a, uh, a plus three to it. So 23. Yeah. 23. And I got a soft 20. All right. And 17. Okay, so it's... Chromagill, Creature, uh, Wake, Morgan. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do on the Creature is uh, Pacifying Spores. I'm going to keep this thing locked in place. Uh, is that an area of effect thing, or is it just one targeted creature? Uh, action, one creature within five feet. Cool. Cool. Uh, makes a con save versus me. Uh, has to make a con save. Has to break a 12. Okay, and it has disadvantage because of the first uh, round of. I think that's only attacks. Yeah, on yeah, us. yeah, yeah. It's attacks on yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's attacks on me on us have disadvantage. It had to beat a twelve, you say? Yes. Unfortunately, you sneeze your spores out uh, on top of this thing. It kind of just like shakes up like day like in a really weird stupor and daze. It like lurches its head up. It doesn't breathe in uh, the spores, and by the time its nostrils flare and its eyes open up. There's now a Drake staring down at you. It did not pass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this kind of looks at me. Uh, uh, what you are? I should at least explain this thing now that yeah. you are seeing it. Uh, you are looking straight at a very large, maybe half the size of the tree branch. So maybe about as long as this table in body uh, length uh, is a dark green Drake uh, with two horns flaring up on the side of its head. Its eyes are a really crystalline emerald, and its mouth is dripping with a little bit of, like, a very acidic saliva as it's looking down at you. Hello? Uh, is there still more you would like to do? Um, I can't... If I don't move, I can't just take two actions, right? That's not how that works. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, you, okay. have, you have a uh, you have move, action, move, a bonus action, and an action. Yeah, gotcha. move, bonus a uh, action, and reaction if you have something that works that way. Well, hey, guess what? With my bonus action, Warden's Fire! Uh, this creature is now wreathed, so I can see it very clearly. Can't hide from me, and a bunch of my spells work along with wreathed stuff. So doesn't uh, really affect them too much, but I can now. Wreath of Light, 
dances around its head. There is now a halo of what looks like wisps right in front of it. Morgan, you now see a halo dancing on top of a green drake. Question: Do the wreath things only work for you? I think they do. Yeah, uh, I think I think yeah. it's just like they're, they're, they're spores that he can sense. Well, I was about to say they fade away. Ah, okay. okay. Like can't he, hide, see, he sees advantage. it for a split second. Yeah. So oh. it can't hide from me, gain advantage, or become invisible until I use the skill again or I fall into. So think of it this way: He flashed the magic and then it faded away, and you can see it now. Gotcha. Okay. And that is my turn. All right, the Drake lurches up, looks down at you, and since you are right below it, it's going to horf up a loogie of acidic damage on you. Great! Well, its attack is going to be disadvantage on me. Alrighty. Let me double check this stat. It does have multi-attack, so this will be its first one. Okay. Also, do, 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 do. Okay. This creature uh, tries to vomit up a loogie of acid on top of you with a four to hit you. That does not hit. That does not. You, Your cap bounces it off. Uh, no, thank you. All right. Well, now it's going to make multi-attacks. It gave this ability here, multi-attack. The Drake gains three melee attacks, two bite, one claw, or one Ooh. with its tail. So, oh no, it's a mixture. Two with its bite or claws, and then one with its tail. So since he's down right next, to, he's right above you, he's like, oh, no, stop it. He like tries to like bap you on the head with a bonk on the head for 22, point, uh, 22 to hit. Okay, that, that will hit. All right. This is disadvantage on the first turn, though, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. first, so, yeah. first, yeah. Yeah. So these are all disadvantage. I should yes, fix yeah, that. The, yeah, 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 yeah. First round, first minute. round will be all disadvantage. That still hits. That still hits. Okay. Bonk. Bonk on the head. Fifteen points of slashing damage. Owie. Second claw attack. It's gonna bonk on the head again. With disadvantage. Oh, yeah. I don't think a seven's going to hit. Nope. All right. And then its tail kind of like raises up and you watch as this giant vine comes around. Wait, vines aren't that scaly. (laughs) Vines don't move like that. Vines don't move like that at all. I don't think it'll be able to hit you with a two, but I'm going to see. Yeah, because it got a two and then a three. Dodge out of the way. Woo. Uh, Nice try. He stays in the tree for this attack. So he's not moving away from the tree. All right, Wake, your turn. You are 20 feet away from this thing, and this thing is 10 feet above you. All right. That is my movement speed will allow me to get there. Um, I am going to leap from the tree that I'm on, scale that tree, and try to hop onto this thing's back and try to tame it. Okay. Uh, The movement will allow you to get there. Uh, Roll me a athletics check or an acrobatics check to get on the tree with it. Acrobatics, it shall be. Acrobatics is a 21. You're on it just fine. You are now standing on top of this thing. Now I need Uh-oh. you... Like a like I'm hopping on Battle Cat. Just... Okay. Uh, since, unfortunately, this thing is technically a large, I need you to make an athletics check to grapple. Okie dokie. Athletics, uh, 22. All right, well, a nat we one... A nat one doesn't get any lower than that on saves, so <laughs> you are grappled on top of this thing. Sweet. All right. All right. Gotcha. All right. Easy. 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 Ch- cool. C- calm. 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 Uh, I guess my action is going to be an animal handling. Yes. 17. 17? Easy. 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 Unfortunately, I rolled a 17 and a 19. Taking the 17, it still is able to beat it. Crap! So this thing is now just thrashing. It's like being oh boy. it's like being mounted on an Odo Garen for anyone who plays Monster Hunter. I made this thing very angry! <laughs> All right, that is your turn. You are still grappled on it, though. Yep, I'm just holding <laughs> on and riding the bucking drake. All right, uh, Morgan, you're up. Okie dokie. So it's still on the tree. It hasn't moved. Nope. So uh, I'm going to use Forsaken Chains on it. And okay. I'm going to burn 
a spell slot, an extra one, so that puts me down to six, so there's five chains on it. Okay. And it's a concentration spell, so that's it. Yep, so, so more is just like... Like, just... Mm. Yeah, there's like... Oh, you've got it. Cha- there's ethereal chains on this thing. You have it chained now, do you? Yep. That's interesting. That might work really well with one of my skills. All right. Uh, Chromiel, you're up. <gasps> I am? Well, well, well. Let me uh, pull up this move because I haven't used it in a while. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, so this thing's got chains, and that means if it moves, it's going to hurt, right? Yep. Yep. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Warden's Grasp. I choose a point within 10 feet of a wreathed creature. Uh, I'm going to point at the ground, so it's, I'm going to pull it from the tree it's in. Uh, and I have to make a... Oh, yeah, that's right. A melee attack spell. How does... So that... It's just uh, your spell attack. Uh, you're, sure, on your second right? page, it should say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, have, I use uh, wisdom for my spell casting ability, so... It's whatever you roll, whatever you roll attack plus okay. so wisdom. Yeah, it's your attack plus six. Cool. Well, I'm going to swing at this mother effer. With a 17. 17? Yeah. That will absolutely hit. All right, cool. It is now being pulled into the ground 10 feet away from it. So I'm going to go, no! <laughs> uh, all right, so I need to roll bludgeoning damage because it hits the floor. Uh, being jolted from that. I get janked with all these chains ripping out of it. Yep, so he takes three points of bludgeoning damage as he hits the floor. Proc all your spells. All right, so... How f- also ten, a, ten feet. Right. Okay. Also, real quick, before you do that, a success deals two d6 bludgeoning damage for me. Oh. So. So yeah, you just like yank this thing by the horn and just like fucking face plant it into the floor. You pretty much Ganondorf side bead this thing. Great. Uh, well, it also Ooh. takes an additional nine damage from me. Very nice. Good hit. <laughs> Ooh, double sevens. Nice. So fourteen necrotic. Cool. Yeah. So. As soon as it hits the ground, its entire face just explodes with necrotic energy. <laughs> that was a rough turn for that guy. Yep. Wake's uh, just slathered in gore on the back of this thing. Yeah, it's just like the blood splats on your face. I was. And... Is it dead? No. Oh, it's okay. It's just visceral. Gotcha. Yeah, it's just yeah. visceral. Just, Roll just... an athletics check for me, Wake. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on. Still pretty solid. 20, uh, soft 20. Soft 20? Uh, unfortunately, because of all the shit that's going on, like, it's it's jeering head because of all the attacks it's taking. It hits your arm out, and it kind of pushes you off to the side. You God damn it. it. <laughs> yeah. It's getting bapped. Uh, I have extra attack, so I'm just going to swing on this guy. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and that, so that would be a 19. 19 will hit. Cool. <laughs> Let's go with the with the big club. I'm not going to do the huge axe yet. That's only two on damage. Two on damage? Yeah. 1d8. You kind of like bop it in the face with your with the tail end of your club and jeers its head away <coughs> just in time so you hit it in the cheek. When you do so... When it opens its mouth, more of those coins spill out. Okay. Clunk. Did you add your strength bonus to that attack? Uh, I did to the to the roll. Do I also add it to the damage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, then in that case, it would have been five. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say two doesn't make sense. On a D, how, your yeah. strength bonus is higher than two. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. On melee attacks, you always add your strength. Okay. Bonus. Got it. Well, now I know that. All right. It's turn. Sorry, been a second since we combated. Well. It's a little... I'm going to see if it has a flight or fight response. Roll an intelligence check. It has a fight response. Looks over at Wake next to him. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm just trying to be your friend. I'm looking for a guy... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, first attack will be... It's going to do its multi-attack. So... The first uh, attack is three attacks. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. no, that, that is its whole deal. I know. Uh, Bite attack. It's going to go for that. So 7, 14 to hit. That's going to miss. Okay. Nope. No, easy. It's okay. We can be friends here. He's going to try and bite again. Okay. Does a 19 hit? I am ba- I'm barely holding it back. It's nipping at my face. Nope, nope. Stop. You're feeling the acid trickle on your fingers. Ooh, that's, that smells spicy. And it gets a tail attack. 
as its tail whips around like a scorpion and lunges down to hit you on the head. Oh, no. Uh, well, unfortunately, I rolled a 14, so no, that's not hitting you. Yeah, I dodged my head to the side. <laughs> okay, now that we've gotten that out of our system. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. I, let's see. Ah, that's right. Uh, I, 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 I'm just like pushing it back and I hold out a bunch of uh, basically dried catfish meat. Easy, eat food, 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 food. Animal to handling. This bloody mess of a creature that my party has been brutalizing. <laughs> uh, animal handling this time is a uh, 23. 23? Oh, 22, I'm sorry. 22, Easy. all right. Yeah, uh huh. He does notice the food. He notices the food in your hand. However, to what degree, you have no idea. It's not your food. Is that Easy. Your turn? Easy. I'm just slowly reaching out. We can be friends. I'm looking for... You don't understand me. It's okay. Food. Well, at this point, like I said, so your action right now is just holding out the food. It does pay attention to it, but to what end, you have no idea. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of gently coaxing towards it with the food. That is, in fact, my turn. Morgan. I'm still concentrating. And remember, folks, you have the ability to shove and push. Yes. That is an action. I know. I don't want to wound it and make it <laughs> mad at me. Probagil. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll perception real quick just to make sure I'm seeing what uh, what Wake is doing. And, yeah, I, I feel like with a 14, I'm probably picking this up. I don't uh, think he's really hiding it. You close enough to notice. Okay. That, especially with the wreath I'm, I'm Chris it. Pratt raptor training yeah, it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're noticing that uh, Wake is trying to coax this thing to calm the fuck down. Okay. Since I am able to, to have it be un or be understood, I'm just going to... We don't want to fight you. I'm sorry. This this was all a big misunderstanding. We're looking for something. Animal handling. Uh, 13. Well, it has a minus three in charisma, so... <laughs> hey, that might help. So even with that, even if it was to use its uh, wisdom to comprehend that, it now looks to a lot of you like just, wait, wait, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> this thing is just more and more confused. Food. We right. don't need to fight. Everything's going to be okay, little big guy. Is that your turn? Says the man that just bludgeoned it and <laughs> yeah, pulled right. it from its resting spot. <laughs> <laughs> ripping chains out of it. Look, man, I tried to put it back to sleep first. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be my turn. I'm, I'm not going to try and rile it up anymore. It is still read, though, so if it does things... You can I'm... ready in action, just in case. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to ready my great club. Still, Hey, buddy, everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going to be fine, just... Out. Take a little nap. Uh, roll an intelligence check for this thing real quick. Um, all right. Well, it's going to go for the food, but unfortunately, because of how big this thing is, it's going to bite you to get the food. It's like chomping down on your hand. Can it bite a ghost? <laughs> is it a magical <laughs> bite? <laughs> I challenge thee. Uh... This bite attack has a reach of blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Reach five feet, target, hit 15 on piercing damage, plus 1d6 on elemental damage. So you'll take the elemental damage. All right. Could say if your hand's corporeal enough to hold food, it might take some teeth. It'll at least feel weird. Yeah. Um, well, surprisingly, it gracefully enough doesn't fucking go for the hand. It takes the food instead. Oh, there we go. See? Yeah. The creature looks at you, kind of like hisses in your face, and then like takes the food and then just like lurches over to the side. He, do, he you don't, he's not letting you pet him. He's he grabs the food, jumps to the side, and starts eating at it. As long as it doesn't move five feet, he's fine. I was gonna say, does that trigger your chains? God damn it! Oh no! <laughs> he moves away. He moves five feet. I, I was like, no, 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 no! Don't move! <laughs> That's a twelve. <laughs> When it moves away, it feels its entire fucking like jawline just dislocate. <laughs> no! Ah! Turns around and looks to the lot of you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> and it was him. <laughs> I point to Angrily, I'm gonna roll something here. Yeah, 
angrily in its uh, in taking damage, it goes for more, uh, Chromagill. Oh, okay. God damn it! It moves ten feet to get to him. <laughs> so that's the last two chains. Stop! No! <laughs> Moving is only going to hurt you more. That's fourteen. It's like no! got like guys, like blisters of blood falling off this fucking thing's body. <laughs> It's still up. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Chromagill, it's not going to hit you with a fucking two plus seven, so he no. was readying an action. Were you readying to <laughs> smack what, it if what, it came at what's you? What's your action yes. against it? <laughs> I was raising my weapon to hit it should it try to attack. <laughs> oh, poor little guy. Oh, man. I have a feeling of 20 hits. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> okay, well. Unfortunately, when I do that spell, I'm concentrating on yeah. it, so I don't know what's going no, on yeah, around you, me. You didn't have a chance to... All right, that's going to be six damage. Just bludgeoning on that guy. Just... <laughs> bang. Don't move, please! You can chip his... <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking chip its horn off. It's like a little game of Monster Hunter. Gonna go for a bite attack. This isn't what we wanted. Uh... Second bite attack misses completely. I'm rolling threes and twos. <sighs> and tail. I promise, I know it seems like we don't want to be friends, but please. 16 plus 7, that's hitting you. Yeah, that's got me. Uh, with a reach of 10 feet uh, on hit, uh, hit of 18, 2d12 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. Woo, that's not going to feel good. Uh, you must make a strength save beat of 15. If not, you are knocked prone. Okay. I don't beat that. So you are knocked on your ass by this thing's tail. Please don't pull off! All right, 2d12. Oh, man. Where is the 12? Here we go. I seldom use this thing. Barbarian dice. Yeah, it's barbarian dice. Mm -hmm. All right, a 12 and a 1. So 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points of damage. That is its turn. I really didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> but now that he's basically pounced Chromagill and just biting at him, Wake's I'm, going to I'm... go for a, a series of attacks, all melee, all aim to subdue. Okay. You can choose to subdue enemies, yes. Yes. Uh, so basically he's going to run up, just give a swift rotational kick to the side of the head, uh, followed by a few more punches around the, you know, carotid arteries, just trying to slow down the blood pressure, make its head go loopy. So, first the kick. Uh, the kick is a 27 to hit. That will hit. Uh, I'm just going to roll the attack. So, I go for a kick. Second, I punch for an artery on the other side. Uh, that is uh, 18 to hit. That hits. And then I follow up with my final attack, which is just kind of like a dual arm chop. Or actually, no, I'm gonna try to like ghost in to like his neck mm. and just poof, try to crack in there with my spec uh, spectral fist. And that's a 21 to hit. That so. will all hit. All right, here comes the damages. 11. Remember, if you claim subdue, on, 10. When it hits zero, it's KO. It's knocked out, not dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, 10. So that's 21. And 29. 29 damage total to this thing as I'm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You hear several bones crack as this thing is being jostled left and right. Sorry, sorry, sorry! Just popping spots in its neck. It's gonna feel great when it wakes up. Uh, you kick it over to the side, it uh, bangs its body against the tree and then turns its sight on you. Oh, you're pretty durable. <laughs> it is a large creature. Now can we talk? <laughs> is what Wake says. Morgan. Well, I'm guessing it's my turn. Yep. Oh boy. It, you are well beyond the point of talking this thing down. I figured. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, that would insinuate this thing is intelligent. It is a creature. It's a draconic creature. They're, they're relatively intelligent. <laughs> they're not dragons. Dragons are way more intelligent. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're like... It's like the dog it's, it's, equivalent. Yeah, it's of like a the dragon. dog of a dragon. Dogs understand word yeah, language. You can, you can sort of smack call it the dog with yeah. the departing. Of course, probably not after bludgeoning it half to death. <laughs> Once you start beating 
<laughs> no, this is making me sad. We're gonna... <laughs> does an 18 hit it? It sure does. So that's nine damage. Okay. Hey, this and thing lives out in the woods. I'm sure nine it's damage killed and, and eaten its fair share of innocent two of it creatures. Is necrotic. Okay. Apparently, it's swallowed and a whole lot of gold. Extra attack. <laughs> I made 20, <laughs> natural. So multiply your damage times two on this one. Just vaporizes this poor thing. Double sevens. And so 14 times two. 28. Um, how is it looking? In the words of Matt Mercer, how do you want to do this? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Do you even need to roll the 1d100 for this item? Unless you want to kill it. I could just fluff it that you fucking siphoned this thing's soul out of it. <laughs> it's not dead, but, well, it doesn't really have a soul anymore. Well, if that I mean, makes you sense. fucking, like, plunged the blade right into where his, like, lungs would be. Mm. And the sword, doing damage! And <laughs> the sword procked. I've, I've always been a, uh, a a fan of, you know, swords aren't exactly a subduing weapon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, no. The flat of the blade. Mm -hmm. No, no. Yeah, you can't just ignore it. There you go. <laughs> no. Yeah, you just like take the blade and you like kind of like whisper out like shh, 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 shh as you like, as the blade's <laughs> necrotic energy like rips <laughs> up the side. Shh, 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 shh. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Sleep now, forever rest. Your fucking sword gets up to the fucking collarbone and you feel a, you feel a tug as it gets there. And then with one final like just tug you hear <laughs> and the thing falls over dead. So, that went places. Okay, so uh, we tried to sneak past it. That didn't happen, my mistake. You just right. take full credit for that. Uh, Try I, reasoning with it, you know, I, maybe I, we could have helped it you know, track where we're going. Po but. Possibly, it, uh, when it lunged at me, I tried to put it to sleep and no. uh, it, did not like that nope, one definitely bit. Definitely did not. And look, I'm not saying we didn't have a choice here. I'm just saying things happened. <laughs> it got d dicey really fast. And. <laughs> Morgan's just fucking practicing with his sword, like, yeah, all right. Slicing up the remaining bit of corpse. Flipping the, flipping no, the blood. I'm off harvesting. The plate. I'm holding oh. circle. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have 60 seconds. And. Well, and... It did spit out a lot of gold, admittedly. It, it did, and we have no idea what sorts of creatures it's already consumed. I was hoping the trail would lead us to the kobolds we were following, but obviously... It could probably take its head just as a, you know, saying like, hey, we got rid of this thing that's been hunting you. Hey, let's all be friends. Let's Leverage. Hey, There's all... been plenty of senseless bloodshed. To, also, you know, hey, wake, this might actually be a great intimidation play. Very true. I like how everyone looked at me like I was supposed to mediate everything. I'm like, nope. don't, don't put this fucking notice on me. This I'm, is all you guys yeah, right no, now. I'm, I'm not, that's why I'm, I'm not looking at you. I'm just swinging a sword <laughs> while they talk. <laughs> so if we just take this and we bring that in there, we'll be like, hey, see what we did to your guardian? And yeah, exactly. Also, you, you messed with our ship. Exactly. I think... Uh, there, we can make some bloody lemonades out of these bloody lemons here. Yes. It's going to be all right. Bloody lemonade is actually my favorite. Ooh. Didn't know, didn't know it was a thing, but I'll take your Grammy. word on it. Masterwork. Oh. Well, let's get harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> Do we hear that? Only Morgan does. <clears throat> mm. Only Morgan does is like she's hanging upside down from a tree and pointing at <laughs> oh, him. Oh, okay. And then she like kind of like fucking nose for Ratu's back into the foliage. <laughs> Sometimes I still feel her like presence. <laughs> no, I used nature sense earlier. She's not around. I know it's it's an it's an expression. Okay. So you're car you're carving survival. I'm guessing. Yep. I'm gonna survival as well. I'm just gonna look for all the gold that's been spilling out of this thing as it's been getting beaten up like one of those. Bag minions and golden axe. <laughs> I rolled a 12 plus 113. 13? Uh, survival is a 11. All right, Morgan, you carve uh, where you started. Where you pretty much carve at the point where you inserted the blade. Mm -hmm. You start heading towards the, the gut. Mm -hmm. uh, there are bones that are in this thing's stomach. This thing has eaten 
but these aren't uh, these aren't cobalt bones. These are pretty substantially larger and way more sturdier. They look like something that would appear more on a humanoid creature more than a scaly little tiny like midget dragon. Mm. Would that be a nature check? That would be a medicine check. Medicine check. Okay. That's a five. Hmm. You can't tell shit from these. It's it's you just like grab the bone like oh god gross and weird. <laughs> Uh, you start seeing these bones. There's a little bit more of these coins going in here, but then all of a sudden, tink, out of like, tink. out of the uh, bones and all the sinew that's still not being digested uh, as of quite yet, this all feels relatively fresh uh, from the kill. Uh, however, the one thing that stands out from this is that this thing swallowed what looks like a chopped up or like banged up explorer's helmet. Huh. <laughs> Oh, it's not clean. This thing is like ripped to shreds from like lots of claw marks and everything. <laughs> but lo and behold, like in a lot of books that you see about expeditions and like like strange adventures, this looks like one of those hats. Wait, kind of like scoops out the viscera from inside, puts it on. Huh. Holds out the spear. Tally ho! Ha! Uh. Ew. Covered in acid. I, I didn't. Ah, ah, it burns. Oh God, my hair's <laughs> my hair's bleaching. <laughs> Wake has blonde streaks now. I'm gonna walk by and see the the bones that uh, Morgan was discarding. Medicine check. That is a sixteen. You've seen a human skeleton before. That's some human bones right there. Oh, this thing was a man eater. <laughs> Your best friend grew from a man skeleton. <laughs> Uh, apart from that, though, there's actually more to it. There's a more chunky and, like, stout kind of bone. That one's a dwarf. This, oh, and there's, there's some dwarf bones here, too. Now, it looks like there's been some, uh, expeditions here recently. Uh, Quick, I'm gonna uh, check on a sound here. Oh, yeah, that was a... Okay. We good. Oh. No, the camera's out. No, that's for the monitor. It's fine. Give it a second. No problem, guys. We're, we're fine. We're fine. fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You just rolled a nat too. I we're good. I the preview monitor, but we're good now. We're good. All right, cool. Stop Bam. making weird noises. <laughs> what is this tech desk you speak of? Anyways, back, back into the universe. Um. Okay. So with that, uh, you find that helmet. You find the coins, uh, you find all the bones. Mm -hmm. How many coins did we find, out of curiosity? Uh, from what Chromagill has been finding, he only picked up the one coin, but so far you've like seen like maybe 12 or 13 of them as you went along. Dozen nation coins? Yeah. Kind of flicky, the one that I picked up earlier. Does it match these? Seem to. Uh, some of unfortunately, these are... you can't tell because the acid bleached it. Yeah, some of these have been kind of burned with acid, but... They look similar in size, I guess. Hmm. Uh, everyone roll a perception check. Eleven. Six. Also eleven. Uh, six. Eleven oh. for oh, six, six for me. Six, eleven, Morgan. Eleven. All right, Morgan, roll me a con save. Okay. Oh, nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Ow. Morgan, there's a thing in your neck. Yeah, it's a tiny dart sticking in your neck. As you pull it out, it looks like it didn't break the skin quite as far as it could have. Mm -hmm. There is poison at the tip of this dart. Poison darts, gentlemen. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 30 foot radius has rapport spores. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't be shooting this at us. Did you see what we did to this thing? What's your AC again? 16. <laughs> just a fucking battalion of dogs. It's it's that it's that <laughs> scene from uh, Ace Ventura 2. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Roll me three con saves. <laughs> Alright, stop doing whatever you're doing. 23. Nine. And uh 15. That nine. <laughs> I'm looking in the direction that I saw him get shoot, uh, shot from. Uh, roll me an investigation check from the darts that are st sticking in him. Uh, the darts that were sticking in him before he fell down, investigation of 12. 
Uh, they are coming from multiple origin points. There is one in the back of his head, there's one in his arm, there's one in his face. You don't know where these things are. All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, More, as for, uh, as for you, Chromagill, you are paralyzed. <laughs> so this is what it's like. It's paralyzed, but not unconscious. Nope. You okay, Chromagill? Uh, I can't move, but other than that, seemed pretty much the same. Only a successful DC check will get him out of it. Uh, medicine check, that is, I'm guessing? Or, no, or he has to he shake has himself. To he has gotcha. to hold himself. Okay. All right, well, just try to shake yourself out of it. I'll, uh... Please, just keep an eye on things. Whatever shot me could probably shoot you. Probably shouldn't be the one doing the talking, but... One whizzes past your face. <laughs> okay, rude! Very rude. Morgan, one whizzes past your face. <laughs> The next one that comes by me, I'm going to use my uh, deflect missile as an, a, an attempt to catch it. Okay. You look like you want to do something. I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. All right, this is stupid. Chromagilla, you get better. Morgan, what? They took Morgan! They got him again! <laughs> Damn it! Why is he so easy to kidnap? Roll a, uh, roll a wisdom save. It's the breast play. Modified 20? Modified 20, you get out of it. Gah! Okay, I can... I seem to be able to move again. Can you sense Morgan? That 21 hits you in the head. I don't know if that... <laughs> <laughs> I'll look for Morgan, don't... <laughs> Go <with> you, no! <laughs> it's okay, I'm still conscious, I just can't move again. Okay, this is really inconvenient. Hey, you're not really doing any damage, you're just annoying us, which is going to make it worse when we find you. I'm gonna work on that right now! Okay, here I go! <laughs> I'm going to uh, use my elemental attunement and kick up kind of like a mild sandstorm around me. Uh, okay, well, you there's a mild gust of wind as the sand kicks up. Uh huh. Uh, they don't, there's no firing at this point. Alright. Just right. on the floor and Morgan's gone. I am going to uh, start booking it into the brush. To see if I can just find one of these motherfuckers. Assuming these two are doing things, Chromagill's just gonna start taunting from his place on the ground. Uh, Morgan, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna basically do what Wake's doing. I'm gonna see if I can find our assailants. Uh, so that would be a perception check on you, mm -hmm. but with disadvantage right. because it's dark. Yeah. And you, you would be rolling a stealth check. Just because I'm prone doesn't mean I'm out of this fight. You don't want to see me when I'm mad. No, 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 no. Stealth is 19. 19. Fishman Ninja vanish. Yep, they don't catch you. And that's 17, and that was with disadvantage on perception. 17. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so you kind of like see the sand actually knocking off other things apart from uh, the trees themselves. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like making small little outlines. You are completely surrounded by kobolds. There's, you, at first you started, you lost count at 12. Oh. And it just keeps going. I, I talked to Bluey earlier. He seemed to think that you had a boss who'd be very upset with the ships you attacked earlier. Uh, you feel uh. someone rummaging through your stuff. Hey, hey, cut that out. Stop that. Yep, you feel tiny hands grabbing at your pockets. I don't like this one bit. Can I do any sort of saving throw to get out of this paralysis yet? Uh, yes, the, but because the more they keep hitting on you, the, deck sa the save rises. It's getting higher. It's a wisdom save though, right? Yep. And that's one of my better ones. Uh, 19? 19? You break out of it. Uh, okay, I'm just going to try and just grab for whatever I feel touching me. Uh, roll a... Roll to just a straight, uh, attack. Okay. Uh, seven? You try to grab at something and you feel it just, like, brush away from your hand. Huh. Uh -huh. Whatever it was, it got away. Uh, can I do anything to just kind of search my inventory, see what was taken? Mm. Let me see your sheet. I don't have a, a lot on me, so anything they take is going to be pretty valuable to me. <laughs> of course, you also carry a lot of big things that they probably wouldn't be able to carry. That's true. It's a, That's it's exactly the point as to why the first thing they take is your crossbow. 
It's light enough. Oh no, that was implanted in my arm! I'm not, I'm not gonna- oh. Ow! <laughs> it's a shame that Drake is a large creature. Not my- Ooh. But I got something just as fun. All right, so uh, you're out. You lost your yeah. you lost your uh, crossbow. I'm just stealthily crawling through the brush, looking for one to Batman up into a tree. That would be an investigation check. All right, here I go. Predator mode. Investigation, uh, sorry, 13. 13? You see things moving in the brush, but they're just far too fast for you to grab at. I'm an ambush predator. I can wait. Uh, you feel something, like, kind of prick you in the butt, and you pluck out one of the little darts that the poison didn't proc. They matched my AC while doing that? That's crazy. They beat your AC. Uh, he, ca- he attacked, he back attacked you. Okay. <laughs> like, like, it wasn't like a dart hit you, like, from a blow dart. It felt like someone went... Slap my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a little spank. Ow, dear. Mother... <laughs> I don't know how to respond. I'm, I'm going to take this dart and try to throw it at one of like the little things that I can see. Uh, before we get onto that, sure quick. thing, Morgan. Well, hold, hold on. Um, is it the same? Well, question: Is it the same dart that he got hit with? You can't see that. Okay. I'm torn between. Well, actually, let me double check. Yeah, we kind of like all separated oh, off and yeah. sequestered <laughs> ourselves. Let yeah, every me double. We split the party at this ambush. It'll go away if I do this. Uh, so we're completely surrounded. How tight is the circle? The circle's say? getting tighter and tighter. Tighter like, and tighter. It was, it, was, it was around you guys at the center point where the sandstorm was. That's dissipating at this point. They're now like now getting smarter. You're feeling like in a matter of seconds, they're going to close off every single one, and everyone's going to be surrounded by a separate group. Okay. Would, th- would, they be, would it be tight enough for a 30-foot cone? At this current point, yes. Okay. I'm going to break invisibility and use all my spell slots on fear. They all have to make wisdom saving throws. I'm sorry. You're going to have to roll a lot. Have, I'm going to have to roll 30 wisdom saving throws. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you might, might want to like condense those. Yeah, like, I will. Yeah, these, these 10 will do that or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. I'm a DM. I got this shit. Yeah. So that's all my spell slots gone. <laughs> How do you want? To, how do you want to flavor that? Uh, basically, I make a, fan, a phantasmal image of another Drake that leaps out from out of the brush. Okay. Stupid kobolds, you made me look bad. Ooga booga booga. <laughs> okay. 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 Most of them surrounding you have gone away. Uh. Most of them surrounding Wake have disappeared. You have cut the numbers down significantly, but there are still a few left. As they were fleeing, I'm assuming a couple of them gave pause. Yes. All right. I'm taking that time to grab one. <laughs> okay. Roll a athletics or acrobatics if you're choosing. Uh, if I'm allowed to do acrobatics, and that is a 26. I, I go down like Batman begins. Right here. <laughs> We come back up into the tree. <laughs> this feels familiar. Hi, Bluey. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, unfortunately, they're on top of Chromagill as he's getting up. Get away from me! Stop it! Just help! AC. Like, like the Ewoks does on a, Chewy. <laughs> does, a, does a 16 hit you? Uh, matches. It matches? All right. Roll me a wisdom save. Uh, ooh, 10. Hmm. Oh, I say I... Oh, I'm really starting to dislike this. I'm going to roll something to see here if they got... No, they got something smaller. They take your ammunition. Not the bolts for the crossbow you took! They match! <laughs> so you grab onto one. You're seeing a bunch of them uh, fall behind. I need you... Oh, what's your AC again? Uh, 20. Because you are currently grappled onto someone else while they start taking shots at you. They're not hitting. Like, you're just, you're just dodging out I'm of I'm moving light. him to be the shield. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll play it like that. He takes, like, 12 darts. 
just roll through your head. Choking on his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a lot of good information out of this guy. <laughs> He's going to have a fun night. Maybe. I don't know. I don't and know how this stuff you, works. Uh, Morgan, what are you going to do? Because most of the ones that were on top of you were gone. I'm going to actually roll one more time. I am sorry, just before That's you That's fine. Get... No, no, no. It's All right. Okay. 19 does hit. Roll a wisdom save. Roll a wisdom save. Okay. do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do 17. 17, you beat it out. Being a little, a little woozy, okay. but you, nothing you too bad. You literally see one staring at you, just like, ha <laughs> <laughs> that was the last one that you didn't frighten off. He just like he like right. shoots it up. He like's like I got your no. Oh no! <laughs> it's my go now. Yep, your go. Does a thirteen hit it? What are you hitting it with? My sword. <laughs> just oh my God, I'm sick of this. <laughs> No, it doesn't. There's too, he's too fast. Ah, uh, extra attack. You're too slow. So 20, soft 20. <laughs> that will hit. <laughs> just face, <laughs> just running. At, I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's 13 damage. <laughs> you like, you like slice one of his fingers off and he runs away. <laughs> And he runs off. I wanted to go to bed. Chromagill. Alright, so you two you have one. Chrome uh you see Chromagill as one as maybe two or three of them are trying to take his club away. Stop that! Oh come on. Not one on that wisdom save, oh, so no. no getting out of that. Stop uh, it! This is very inconvenient. I really dislike what you're doing, and I tried to talk this out with you. Why? <laughs> Poor Crow Miguel. He just wants to be everyone's friend. Technically, you can still communicate, right? Yeah, no, I'm still talking to them. Like, they can hear, they can you hear have, all you this. You have, like, abilities you with that, laughter. right? I do, but I... Crow Miguel is like, I just want to talk to you. I'm not... Ah! Like he, he could force a, a persuasion or intimidation, but he is just right now he's too upset at just what's going you think on. Boss gonna like this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get rid of the small greens. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they like just start grabbing at your. You, you feel them tugging the grit, the great axe away from you. For a nominal fee, I'll get rid of those small greens for you. I heard you talking about something about small greens, and I guarantee whatever they are will like us a hell of a lot less than you. Persuasion check. 14. They, they all stop, turn, and look to each other, look back down at you. One takes his blow tor his, uh, blow dart, uh, his, uh, what the fuck is it called? Shit. Blow gun. Blow gun, thank you. One takes his blow gun. You really don't want to- Ow! Backs him on- Bonks you on the head. They hey! Try, keep trying to take your great club. I'm gonna get out of this, and when I do, I'm going to say some really mean things! Morgan, what are you doing? <laughs> your group's- Your group's dissipated. Your group's dissipated. But you're holding on to one. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm basically, like, as he's paralyzed, I'm kind of slowly choking him into unconsciousness until he's out. Oh, he's out. He, he took, like, four darts. He's out. Oh, excellent. I'm holding him by the scruff. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to kind of move in the direction that I hear Chromagill going, but I mean, go you, ahead. You got, yeah, let's go with you okay. first. Uh, I'm going to do a s stealth roll to sneak up on them. Because you said there's only, like, two or three of them on. There's, like, three of them right there's now like three on three of them? Okay. Na, 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 na. That is a 19 on stealth. 19 on stealth. They don't see you. They're too busy getting his stuff out of yeah. there. And Cromagill is, well, polishing unable to move, trying to be as distracting as possible, basically, with all the noise he's making. <laughs> you just really don't want to do that! Stop! Cut it out! Uh, I have friends! Then I'm going to roll something for them real quick. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but in that 20, they they rip the great club, the great axe away from oh. you, and they start kind of walking away. Not my big-ass axe! No! 
<laughs> we taught him to swear. <laughs> he said to swear. I'm so proud. Morgan, there's one who's like struggled with it. He kind of tripped on himself. So there's one left as the other two walk away with the axe. That was legendary loot, you fiends! <laughs> I can probably stop the two. <laughs> I'll, I'll, okay. Yeah, go. let's I'll, let you have a go. Yeah. Uh, as those two are scrambling away with the axe, I will water whip the axe that the two are holding and pull it in my direction. All right. So the axe has to make a dexterity save. <laughs> well, that's no problem. The kobolds have to. Okay. Kobolds need to make a dexterity save. That should be pretty easy for them. My DC is not incredibly high. It's 13. Unfortunately, yeah. They rolled an 18, not including all their bonuses. So I whip the axe towards me and try to hold it feebly. <laughs> Ow! It's a very heavy axe! Very much! It bonks Chromagill on the head as it goes down. Ah! That's 2d12! <laughs> the metal, it burns! Three. Oh god, it's metal! <laughs> All of this is miserable! <laughs> Chromagill's worst day ever. Yes! That's the you beat me to was, it. It's one of those things where it's like, Chromagill's had a very positive disposition this whole time. I don't think this day... No good, it's very about bad. time reality <laughs> fixed that. I don't, I don't yeah. think this well, day is going to really change kobold, that, but it's definitely teaching him something. The two other pretty much at this point give up and just run away. The other one is still scrambling up. He looks around. He's like, I'm going to roll a flight or fight response for him real quick. Oh, yes. I want to <laughs> see him fight this. Oh, no, he doesn't fight, but he's just like, no, I can still steal something. He goes, he rummages through Chromagill's stuff again. Let me see your sheet again. Are you fucking kidding me? He, they're craving little shits, man. <laughs> your avarice will be your death! Just leave! He's gonna pluck one of the darts out of his... You, you feel them unbuckling your cloak. Don't you... Don't you take this from me! <laughs> Wake is going to take a dart out of the pouch of the one that he has unconscious and just... That was... Fling it right at its little neck. That was a gift! Uh, this is just straight dex plus proficiency, right? Yes. Okay, then that will be a uh, 24 to hit. That will hit. Zunk! I'll have you know I'm the closest thing you can get to an appointed member of the, the Court of Spring! Get out of here! So it now has to make its own constitution save. You're throwing the same dart? The, uh, the dart out of one of this dude's pouches. So oh, like one of the fresh okay. ones. Uh, okay, so I will roll to see if that works for him. On the floor. Bullseye! Ha! Not fun, is it? <laughs> All right, so we got two of them. Well, that one's still paralyzed. He can get out. He's He can get out of it. The other one took like seven of them. He's yes. fucking... It's Bluey. He's fucking choking on his tongue right now. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I'm holding him face down, so when he throws up, he's not going to choke on it. <laughs> the other one, I'm going to roll it. Morgan, what are you going to do? Go ahead and one's grab that guy. Save. He does not bust out of it. Okay, so he's still paralyzed. Yep. Uh, hmm. Let me take a look at my stats real quick. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I'm going to come out of the brush and basically rest my sword right on his collarbone. Okay. Uh, you do so. You feel something bang against your metal as it, scra it hits the, the blade of the sword. You, everyone hears a gunshot, and the bullet ricochets off, and it moves away from the kobold. Ping. Hmm. You all turn and look towards the source. You see a smoking gun off in the distance. <clears throat> I'd really appreciate it if you didn't manhandle my boys like this. They started it! You hear a familiar voice. Roll history. All right. History on this familiar voice. Nat 20! I am going to... You can't tell me what to do! They started this! Hold on, hold on! When you hear that, you start looking over at the silhouette. Same bald cue, very large nose, very, very weird uh, tall ears that flop to the side. You start watching as in the moonlight, as it walks out, you see a very dirty, but all the same, pinstriped blue and white shirt. Scrung! Wait, what? Oh my god, wake! Yeah, you've been working with these guys? They're terrible! Put them down! I mean, this one's gonna die if I do, probably. What the fuck did you do? Get out I of the did way. nothing. Your I, guy shot. I pushed. I he pushes you. He pushes you by the kneecaps out of the way. And ah, he like, fine. He puts him down. He, lo he looks down at him and he starts like just grabbing his wrist and giving him CPR. <laughs> you don't have like a counter toxin to this stuff. This guy got shot a lot. Your no, guys they make this stuff. I don't know what it is. That's a really bad decision. <laughs> also, I got different poisons if you want. Oh my god. He like looks around to the side. He like notices that he's now breathing properly. He like looks off in the distance. 
puts his finger to his mouth and lets out a loud whistle. And you watch as like a sea of kobolds all just like gather around you guys. Hi, everybody. Louie. Give Louis. them back their stuff. They're friends. So I, I've had like literally nothing to use this on. And I, I show Strung this large vial of fugu poison that I have. You might be able to make better use of this than me. <sighs> you like, you see Scrung like rubbing his temple as Bluey on the floor. And she's like, <laughs> 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 like, you're okay, son. You're okay. I'm like, get the fuck up. He like grabs him by the scuff and like pushes him away. And I'm glad you came here because that guy, he wriggled away earlier. I was going to like clip him through the leg with a clasp. It wasn't going to be pretty. What? Mm. What in all the gods' names are you doing here? Are these two idiots with you? Uh, yes. Give yes. me back my cloak! <laughs> Just it back up. You can't hear him, but he's very angry. That's Pearl <clears throat> McGill. <clears throat> he's the sovereign of his people, and this is Morgan. He's from the North Sea. <sighs> well, ta-da. Welcome to my operation. It's, uh... Quite the operation you have here. Do you, <laughs> you need to teach your men some manners. <laughs> That's how he talks. <sighs> Hello, I'm Chromagal. It's sticky. Why yes, it sticky? it's Why it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow too. It's a fungus. It's so you can hear me like, and hear how upset I am. He like, grabs his gun. I'm, I'll be I'll be very honest. It is very nice to see you. I I. It's been okay. a long time since I've seen a friendly face. Okay. Familiar friendly face. I'm going to give this the benefit of the doubt to become a silver lining. Yeah. It is good to see you too. I knew it. It is good to see a familiar face in this godforsaken fucking hellhole that I have found myself in. I'm still on La Serranus. Why am I still in Kelpie? Why am I? Why the fuck didn't it work? Okay. You know what? You know what? We're going to we're gonna make lemons into lemonade here. Hi, I'm Scrung. Hello. It's we going to take me a second to not be upset, but I'm Chromagill. Oh, please, trust me. It takes me fucking eons not to be like that, but I'm stuck in that mood forever. Who are you? I'm, I'm the sovereign of my circle back near, uh, well, you, I, I've been traveling a lot. I'm just trying to learn about this world. We're going to save it. Uh, apparently, there's some really bad things going on, and uh, your crew stole a lot of things from us. It seems you've returned them. Thank you for that. Uh, we have a hello. parcel that we need to get to Mead. Do you know where he is? Or where the you, you rest mean of the he's around design? here somewhere? I, I'm near Jahal Coven. I have no idea where the hell I am. Oh, we're uh, we're out near Eels Gape right now. Is that what that? It... Okay, I guess I should explain to you what's going on here. A little. Okay, so let me start off by saying this. So, our fairy friend back at right was uh, very keen on showing me a realm gate, and that was completely fine, and it was my ticket out of here. But for some reason, it didn't work all that well, and I ended up in another realm gate stranded in this jungle. Oh. So, I didn't quite find a realm gate to get me out of this world. I found one that just short teleports me on the other side of the country. Oh, that's not as useful as I imagine you'd want it to be. No, not at all. I'm okay. still in Kelpie. Hi, I'm from Heldrum, a different realm, completely different from this one, one that has more science and more, way more technology, and uh, I, I hate this place. I don't understand how you all can handle it. You, your tech is so mediate, is so middling. I keep seeing all the stupid idiots doing their rocket testing off on the side, trying to do God knows what with something called, some kind of power source called a Vect, and I hate it so much because every time I try to go to sleep, they keep sending rockets here! And I thought I was mad today. What's a rocket? Oh, that's right, you don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, you don't even know what a fucking flying contraption is either. You don't have those. What's flying? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, birds have done that. Oh, yeah. What they do. I, th I think I got it. Was it like a weird sphere thing? Kept them in the air? Yeah, the fucking idiots have just one propeller that keeps them up. I don't understand why they keep doing it. Hmm. It's so on it's so aerodynamically wrong and the another the best part is that they set themselves on fire. I guess they're weapon testing. I don't know what the thing is that they're doing because every time I send the blueies out to investigate, they come back with stupid shit like this. And he holds up the uh crossbow bolts and he throws them over to you. Hey, those are mine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. You're welcome. So wake. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with you? Well, As he like pulls out a <clears throat> he like pulls out a very soggy, bunched up carton of cigarettes. Uh, where to begin? Um, 
a lot of people are dead. Including the captain and Eloy. And I'm... He just puffs harder on the cigarette. (sighs) I knew I was going to need this. I'm trying to make everything right, but the only way to do that is to get this to Mead. And I let him in on the MacGuffinry that I'm carrying around. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something right now that that's impressive and everything, but uh, keep that shit very close to you because I'm not worried about the boys around here taking that stuff from you. I'm more worried about the uh, other weird things like these weird feral pack of wolves that can somehow turn into demons. They, they've been cropping up and I think they might find that a little bit interesting because they've been talking about something about the Realm Gate and they kind of closed me off from getting there again. Right. Are they here on this island? Yes. All right, come on. I'll take you to my operation. I'm sure we'll want to at least catch up to everything. All right, right. boys, go ahead and open the gates. I'll, well, everything's fine. They're friends. And if you touch anything from them, I swear to God, I'm going to clip your fingers off with the scissors, especially you, Dave. Here, can you, uh, can you you see the one that you carved this finger off? Yeah, I'll I'll tore another one off, Dave. Sorry about that. I thought this guy said their names were all Bluey. He's a little liar. Yeah, Bluey Dave. Oh, Bluey Dave. I have to I have to somehow make a difference between them. They're all gotcha. Bluey. Okay. They all fucking gravitated to that name because they're fucking idiot kobolds. Okay, can you send a couple of the idiot kobolds out to... Uh, we have a ship docked out that way. Uh, just need them to know to bring it around this way since we'll... That need would be a-, a bad idea. Really? Yes, it would. Oh. Because then all those wolf demon things, whatever the fuck they are, would swarm on you. Ah, good point. Although, we've defeated a few of those previously. Oh, good. So someone does know what to do with these things. Yeah, you hit them really hard, and sometimes you eat their insides. I don't really remember. I was kind of seeing red. Okay, well, beyond that... Not our friend, of, by the, the way. Speaking re- of, I can do that again if we have to fight them again. Well, it seemed like it helped. The main reason is why I haven't been getting near them is because I only have this, and he holds up his gun, and right. it's in very piss-poor condition. How's his hand doing, by the way? The one that very got Very piss-poor off. condition. Gotcha. It's a metal prosthetic arm that doesn't really work all that well. And uh, considering my condition and the fact that I'm running very dangerously low on bullets and the only time I ever get bullets is when I send the blueies out to go steal shit, I'm not doing too good on combat situations. Hmm. Right. Well, would we at least be able to send out a message with one of your guys to let our crew know what's happening? All right. All right. Is whoever you're working with going to be okay with the fact that they just jump on ship? I mean, they can just leave it pinned to the mast. They aren't exactly that observant, I'll be honest. Okay, you know, there was a time where I thought that just sending these idiots out and letting them be expendable was a thing, but I'm running low on them as well, and I need to at least keep some kind of, like, little bit of this operation going. But now that you're here, and the fact that I kind of know where I am now, I don't feel like this operation needs to work anymore. Right. But we can skip on that a little bit later. Come on, I'm very stressed out. I need whiskey from all the stuff I've stolen. Right. And I'm sure you all could use a drink as well. I hand him a vial of bristle bean coffee. Here, it looks like he could use that. <laughs> he liked, ah! Wow. He, he liked coffee when we sailed together. Oh, I haven't tasted this in three months. It tastes so good. I have plenty more. It's fairly old, but we just call it cold brew. I am so... Ha- <laughs> Sorry, I just puked in my mouth a bit. Happy that you were here, Wake. Aw. Oh. Don't, don't look into this. I'm looking into this as much as I should. Come on, let's go to my base. All right. And this is where we'll stop. All right. I have so much more fan mail. I have so much more fa- fan fiction to show him. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a good stopping point. Hey, oh, right. nice. But before we go, we got, we got pitches. We do. We got pitches. We have fan art. We got pitches. And we're setting it up a different way so we can see it slightly differently. Ooh, Once seeing it differently. Yes. Uh, let me go ahead and get TFS at the table on my Twitter. Pull it up, my friend. Twitter. All right, cool. I got it up, so when uh, we are good to go on putting up the pictures, I can show them off. Cool. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, Scrung's back. I'm, I'm happy yeah. to have um, him. Like I said, since this is the last chapter, I'm opening up the floodgates for a little bit more fanfare on some cool. things. Cool. So, was... As soon as I heard it was a goblin, I'm like. I, 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 had a I, had a, I had a suspicion, but I didn't want to say anything lest my ideas were wrong. Uh, I can't remember. I, I, know, I know we've 
I, I don't know if we've met many other goblins, but I'm like, I don't want to just pull you, the trigger yeah. on it and call you, it out. No, you have, but they weren't exactly friendly. Yeah. yeah. And my, my other thought was, I also wasn't sure, and with the way we, we met, Chromagill had not met Skrung. Nope. So there you guys no are brand re- new to this. No way for him oh, to deduce that. Yeah, Speaking of Chromagill. Oh. This Aww. is from uh, V Trance. Uh, my neighborhood, Cro- my neighbor Chromagill with a little cloaked day star. Hello. Aw. It's just me and my friend here. Just picture the rain on it and him standing it under is, The Chromagill. rain is there. It's just a little hard uh, to see. It's just kind of hard to see. Difficult yeah. to see with the sketch it is just yeah, on that's, a screen. That's, that's the reason I liked the other thing, because you can blow up the picture a bit mm. more, I guess. But but now we can see us yeah. reacting yep. to it. It's lovely. But thank you. Who is yeah, this by I love again? It. This is by uh, V Trance and their full name, Robert Tran. Yeah. Thank you very much, Robert. Awesome stuff. Very love good. Next Very good up. sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me in my beautiful face. You can see it. Uh, uh, Lady D draws. Sadly, don't have a whole lot of time for fan art lately, but quickly doodled up uh, for a TFS at the table. Chromagill in the Court of Spring, where the Fey magic gives him eerily handsome count, uh, counterance. Behold my true face. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself there, too, and I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Letter D. I'm such a handsome boy. Next up, from Tanuki. Oh, look at her. It's been a wh- uh, it's been a while, uh, but here's some Nedra. I love the punchy princess. <laughs> I like seeing her with the with the cloak and everything, and she's Hell got yeah. the. This is quite adorable. Thank the, you so the much. One, yeah. The one the one the one covered shoulder. It's, it's a <laughs> my, good look. My, my, my favorite part is like the singular fang. <laughs> Just her one little drooping te- tooth. And who is this by again? This is by Tanuki. Aww, Thank you, Tanuki. Tanuki. Great to see our punchy princess again. I am quite astounded that your uh, username was able to be taken on Twitter. Yeah, Tanuki. Places. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Uh, next up. Yay! Beach Day! From Kaiju Fang, or that's their handle, but Mochi Gaigan. Uh, Wake and Nedra at the beach. Who knew she had such a talent for sand sculpture? I don't think I'd actually even seen Wake there earlier when we when we looked through these. That's great. It's like she's built a castle gray skull on top, and she's like, "What's what's happening? I, don't, I have the power. Don't, don't mind, mind me. Sand it gets it's coarse. It, it gets, gets everywhere." <laughs> Thank you so much. Adorable. Next up, from Ziga Exeron. Yeah! There's a ghost hand. Now if I rip my arm off, I can be just like you. No, <laughs> Nedra, no, please. You're not the same kind of mug. <laughs> and she looks so psyched for it, too. Now I can have ghost puppet shows with you. At- oh, man, Wake's puppet shows are going to be so sick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> check <laughs> this out. Hell yeah, performance checks, motherfucker. Let's my, go. My sleight of hands are going to be nuts. It just takes the puppet off, and there's nothing, and there's a hush throughout the room. Anybody who doesn't know that I have a ghost hand, they're going to get robbed so hard <laughs> if I steal things. Oh, yeah, Strong doesn't know that, so you could probably pull that fucking knowledge on him and make him even more crazed out. <laughs> hey, you you got, you've got a replacement around. hand, too. That's neat, as something to his eyes just floats over to wake. <laughs> this poor man. This poor fucking man. Uh, la- next up, and I believe this is the last one. Shadow of Ooh, Ragnarok. Wake's wish. Ah, I love it. That it is, is great. Is astounding. You said I Shadow of Agaron? Is that yep. what I heard? Okay. Uh, Shadow of Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. Ragnarok. That makes more sense. This is so fucking that astounding. That would be a sick, like, wall scroll. Or, or a stained glass piece. Ooh, Hell okay. Yeah. Looking good. I like it. I love it. it. Well, these are fantastic. Thanks, everyone, Mm -hmm. for doing these. Yeah, these are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm always astounded by the insane fan art. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now that I see everything kind of all piled up on the screen, I can see why it's more visually interesting. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things where it was like also with the old setting. We were in like a small window in a big area. Just it's kind of tough to figure out. So yeah, letting things spread out more. I mean, I like this more. Yeah, it's all good. No, I'm loving it. I'm loving where we're at. I'm happy Scrung is back. I can't wait to interact with him more next time at the table. Later, Wonders. Bye. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>